Hello? There we go. Okay. Oh my gosh, that's so loud. I'm going to turn that all the way. Not all the way, but a good of the way down. Hello, everybody. How's it going? I feel like it's been a while since we've been in the basement doing crafting shenanigans, but uh, here we are. Um, main goal for today is to cut and assemble pattern and potentially start making the mock-up for the pantalones um, because the pattern that I have is pretty close to what I need for you but it is by no means what I need for you it's extraordinarily close but also extraordinarily far at the same time Thank you for the lurk, Superdemics. I appreciate you. I hope you're having a good day. Um, so my goal would be to get all the shenanigans cut out and assembled and then sew it all together and then start making my pattern based off of that pattern mock-up, which is kind of how I do all of my patterning is I base it off of something that is like, like at least the right garment occasionally it's the right form and then I go in and change everything after I've made a mock-up of it so that's kind of what I'm doing it's pretty close to what I need for his pants but it has a few changes that need to be made uh, because they are more traditional pants I forget what the pants are specifically called right now but the pant pattern that I have is more traditional versus Gyu Gyu's is less traditional than that and there's a piece of packing tape on this, that's fine. Um, because, well, my cricket is still acting up, and that's why we're not sewing up Hayori pieces today, which, kind of a bummer, but also, like, I guess it could be worse, I suppose. It could be so much worse. I could uh, not have anything else to do besides that. I just need to get my cricket working which sucks, but anyway, I am also eating while we're doing this, by the way, because life is chaos, and I ate th like a late breakfast, but I'm still hungry, so I am still eating. I feel like I'm just always eating on stream these days. I feel like it's the one time, so I'm like, yeah, time to eat for some reason. <laughs> But yeah, we're going to do the thing. I t I'm not going to lie. It's been a second since I looked at this pattern and don't remember what it's like. So we'll see if it goes well. We'll see, we'll see. I'm going to start some music. Let's crank the brightness up just a smidgen there we go that's better okay now you can actually see it beautiful okay we've got some tunes so let me know if you need me to turn the tunes up well, the levels look fine here, but I don't know if it's if it needs to be turned up or turned down at all. Yeah, I'm not sure. So let me know if it needs to be turned up or down. All right. I bought a new thing of tape and I got some new crafting scissors because I can't find my paper scissors anywhere. Which is a good sign that my fabric scissors have been turned into, excuse me, have been turned into paper scissors. So I'm super looking forward to that. I need to pull up this pattern. All right. I know I had this open. Pants info, PDF, thank you. I bought this pattern on Etsy from the Pattern Studio because these pants have like a, the the cutouts 
I don't know how well you can see it, but these pants have the cutouts on the side, and you does not have um, the cutouts on the side. So that's the main thing that I've got to fix. Uh, but otherwise, it's a pretty traditional short pant style from what I can tell. This was the closest thing I could find that had the tapered end. Uh, so we're going to play around with this and see what works. So, general information, printing instructions, pattern information, grain line, uh, comma, Hakama pants. There we go. That's what they're called. Printing instructions. Print the document. Yep. Uh, cut the margins of the sheets. Place the sheets following the number of letter and instructions. Tape the sheets and cut out the pieces of your size. Follow the marks to cut the paper. What? Okay, but how do I assemble this? This is gonna be fun, guys. We're gonna figure this out. Everything's gonna be fine. <laughs> also, I feel like you have like a really nice view of my forehead, and that makes me kind of awkward. But if I remember correctly, this is the only spot I could find last time that worked. But I'm still just like, it's my forehead. <laughs> Great. Okay, so I kind of am supposed to line these up, I guess? Okay, that makes a semblance of sense. So... There's these little dots and these little squares. So I'm just lining up the dots and the squares. And then that's how it's... Um, yeah, lining up the dots and the squares, and then I'm going to be taping it there. Ow. Ow. I don't necessarily know which lines of these I need to cut. Hopefully I can figure that out in the instructions. But we'll see. Because it said cut the appropriate line, but it didn't exactly give me a size guide. So maybe there's a size guide just chilling, like, on one of these pattern pieces somewhere. But I'm not for sure. Eh. <laughs> Serger to the back there. This can take up some space elsewhere. Alright. Everything is fine. Oh my goodness. Okay, so like, I finally was able to start catching up with Demon Slayer this week, which was really nice, because I haven't been able to watch it in quite a few weeks because of Coaf Crunch and other cosplay shenanigans that were happening in my life. Uh, and, you know, just personal stuff happening in life. Like, I had a wedding last weekend and stuff. Last Sunday, even. But I was like, oh, they should be done with, with dubbing it because it's been so long since I've watched it and the answer is no they are not dum dubbing it so i am all caught up besides the very last episode of the season and i was not a big fan of that cliffhanger so it, it will be my mission tomorrow to watch it uh because holy crap zoids my dudes that was intense that was so intense this doesn't really Hold on. I don't know if you guys can see this, but these lines don't exactly match up, like, along he this seam right here. Like, it's fine where these two meet, but then they get very much off-center. So we'll see if I can finagle my way around that. We'll see. Luckily, this is just a base pattern and not a final pattern. I have learned my lesson over the years that if I'm making anything out of expensive fabric that I need to cut out 
especially if it's formed pieces. I need to cut out everything, all of my pattern pieces out of muslin first and then make adjustments based on that because I can't tell you how many times I've messed up those really expensive um, fabric pieces and had to just go buy new ones and that's always like the worst feeling ever. Oh god, I hate it. It's so ah, it's so terrible. And I'm making you out of very very nice fabrics. Um both for like everything. I've got I've got legit linen that was a pretty penny to get but totally worth it. I'll actually show you guys real fast cuz I've got it hanging up or at least I should have it hanging up. I've got like all of my gyu fabrics just chilling back here. I don't know how well you can see it, but they're hanging on my like clothes rack. Boop. There goes the white. So much. All right. These I love these guys, but these were a pretty penny. I have already spent three hundred dollars in fabric for this cosplay and haven't even bought the lining fabrics yet. It's just the outer fabrics that I've bought so far, and it's been $300 thus far. And I think I honestly have to go and get more of uh, this yellow silk because I am um, I am running out of it already. Hello, how are you? But yeah, I'm running out of the yellow already because like I have to cut two different sets out of the same yellow, and I think that's why I'm running out already. So I think I'm going to have to get another yard of that, and that's like another $25. So I'm probably going to be spending about $500 by the end of this project for all of his supplies between the fabric, the wig, the sword shenanigans, the shoes, the belt, etc. I think it's going to be about $500 by the time that I'm done, and I'm a little sad. But also, look how pretty this linen is. Like... Oh my god, these linens are just so freaking gorgeous. I'm good! I'm glad you're doing good. I am really tired this morning. And a little frustrated with my Cricut because they couldn't get it working still this morning. So we're moving on to working on his pants. But yeah, I love... I love this linen. I think it's going to look great. And like, I'm also trying to keep in mind that this particular uniform I am going to be using for multiple characters. So I'm definitely going to be using it for Tanjiro and Gyu. There might be others that pop up. Like I might use it for Rengoku at some point if I decide that I still want to cosplay him. Um, but yeah, so I'll be able to reuse this Demon Core um, uniform. Ah, uniform. So like... <sighs> I really just have to remake the Hayoris every time, which is like the big, the big, big cost. But still, this fabric right here, this linen, was $130 for these two. So, and it's not, it's just the outer fabric. It's not the lining. <laughs> I do need to get everything lined. It is, I have to get everything lined so it lasts longer and it's more comfortable. The linen's not uncomfortable per se but it will get gross if I don't line it especially since I want to use it for multiple characters so be lining it <laughs> all right also do I need this this just looks like a blank page so I don't know if I actually need this but I'll save it for later. A6. Oh, no, I do. I do, actually. Cause So, it has it listed by rows. So, I don't know. I don't know how I can see it. So, this one says A6. This one says A5. And this one is A4. But this is starting to cut different items besides the main section so this is probably the belt pieces like the waistband and stuff so I do need this as a separator between those pieces so everything else lines up correctly hoot hoot 
but I can't tell you how many patterns I have printed um, that are just like, here's an extra page for no reason. <laughs> so I'm always weary of it. But yeah, Gyu is probably not going to be the cheapest cosplay I've ever made, but certainly not as expensive as some of the other cosplays that I've made. I try and keep most of my cosplays that I make like around two to three hundred dollars between like all of the supplies that I need and usually that includes like files, patterns, fabric, wigs, uh, even like counting like um, all the spray paints and whatnot that I have to get for it. I try and keep it to two to three hundred dollars but you is not shaping up to be that which is disappointing considering I've already spent that budget on just the fabric yardage just the outer fabric yardage that I have right now probably won't even be all of it <laughs> but you know what I think he'll be worth it I always like I feel like there are certain costumes that I just want to give it the love that it deserves and especially when it comes to Demon Slayer cosplays I don't know if it's because of all the research that I did for Kazuha, but I have a really hard time making, like, or, like, wearing samurais with bot cosplays now, because the fabric choices are always, they always feel so wrong to me, and they never sit how I feel like they should, they don't flow as I feel like they should, they just feel like really cheap in the long run, which is disappointing, because I'd like to be able to buy buy some things instead of having to feel like I have to make them all the time, but I do wonder if it's because of my research that I did into Kazuha that I just, I looked, like I originally was looking at just buying Tanjiro, but then the more I looked at the more I was like, nah fam, I could never, I could never, ever, ever uh, buy this. <laughs> And it's also kind of disappointing that I've had to start working on Gyu before I worked on Tanjiro, because I wanted to work on Tanjiro first, but I still don't have a wig for him. Arda still hasn't shipped his wig, but I did look on the website the other day and it said that it shipped, like not shipped, but that it was in stock, but I haven't seen it ship yet. So it might just show up on my doorstep at some point and I'll be like, oh look, there it is. But I've done way more work on Gyu so far because I was waiting on stuff for Tanjiro, so I'm like, might as well just get Gyu done first at this point. But Tanjiro was always my intention to get done first. But nada on that. Whee! But I think it'll be alright. I think I'll be fine for doing Gyu first. I don't know who's like, because originally I was trying to do Tanjiro for a group too with all of my friendos. We were gonna do like um, Anosuke and um, Zenitsu and Nezuko and Tanjiro and I was gonna be Tanjiro, but because of the wake situation, I was just like, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this, so I'm just gonna make you. And so now we're doing Hashiras instead, which like, is fine, but I'm still sad. <laughs> Oh, also, Dark Clone, how's your uh, how's your baby today? Is she still being uh, a needy child, or did she still uh, decide that it was time to go bug Super Demix? But yeah, maybe one day I'll figure it out. I can't believe I've already been this like this. Like, how disappointing is that for me? <laughs> I'm sure it'll be fine. Whee! I might need to move my a couple things off my desk here. Let me just... She's wanting to play with the Pokeballs I'm working on. Oh my god, why are you making Pokeballs? So th that machine that I just dropped on the floor, <sighs> it's an industrial, <laughs> it's an industrial machine that is a blind hammer and is literally my secret when it comes to 
a lot of my cosplays for for that. Um, but I just dropped it on the floor, and I almost broke the arm off. Hopefully it's fine, but it's really heavy <laughs> to just do it like that. I should not have done that. I'm working on making centerpieces out of Pokeballs for what? What are you making centerpieces? Why are you making Pokeball centerpieces? Wee! I've also got a little fabric Spooderman that just chills on my desk that I am also now moving, so please don't mind him. He's just gonna go chill elsewhere. I don't have many like ornamental things on my desk, but I've got a little, I've got my little fabric spooter man and then I've got a little Jolteon. Everything else is like stickers. <laughs> mm. Nummy. Oh, it's for the Phantom Masquerade? Heck yeah! That is excellent. I am super excited for that. That's gonna be so much fun. Ah! Alright. Well. My papers keep, like, being like, nah, fam. I actually might just move my serger. And my sewing machine? I might just move all of my machines off of my desk. I'm gonna stand up to do this. I don't wanna break my newish serger. I haven't used the serger as much as I would be liking, ow, liking to have used it so far. So it's still pretty new. Why? What? Oh my god! <laughs> the little feet suction cupped onto the freaking desk! <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> I did not like that. Also, I may... I don't know. I don't know. I took apart and oiled my sewing machine last week to make it easier on my life. And like, she still needs to go in for a proper service. But I don't have time to have her be gone for me for a week, so I did it myself. Hopefully everything still works, but I don't know. <laughs> I've never taken everything apart to oil it. I've only oiled certain sections of it, so... I guess we'll find out if it's something that I can do. <laughs> You're in charge of making all the anime-themed centerpieces? Oh, heck yeah! What are all the animes that you've got uh, planned out? I feel like that's a little... Hold on. Hmm, let me see if I can zoom this out. Hold on. I feel like as we're growing. Oh, would you look at that? It was zoomed all the way in so I can zoom it all the way out. So you can see a little bit more of what's going on with all that craziness. Heck yeah. All right, beautiful. Now you can see more of my chaos. I didn't realize it was zoomed all the way in. It must be a setting from last night. Because I am someone who uh, shares the love of my equipment. So this is my normal webcam that I use on my game gaming streams. But it has a little light ring so I can add some light without adding extra equipment. So I like it for my crafting streams too. Because when I first started streaming, I didn't have space to ha have my lights on my desk. I tried to do it a couple times. Uh, but I ended up breaking one of my lights because the space was just too crammed. 
So I got this so I, I'd have a built-in light that would fit on my desk. And then I moved desks and now I have nice lights. <laughs> But I like it a lot for crafting streams. It's very, very nice for crafting streams. I feel like the the, the light ring helps a lot. Because if I turn the light ring all the way off, like that's what it'd be normally. And like, so it's not the most powerful of light rings, but it's enough that you can still see just a smidgy better. And I like it. All right. Pokemon, Dragon Ball, My Hero, Sailor Moon, Puella Magi? Do I know that one? I don't feel like I know that one. What's that one about? Uh, Bang Dream, Hatsune Miku, and Token Rambu so far. Heck yeah! And he's like, that was at work. Dr. Stone. Damon Slayer. <laughs> It's, it does surprise me sometimes how many uh, people have, how many younger people have seen Demon Slayer. Because it, it was like, it was rated R when it went into theaters, when Mugen Train went into these theaters. So like, it's not exactly the most family friendly of, uh, of animes, but I feel like a lot of people just look at it like, okay, it's violent, we get it, and then just kind of move on, and that's why it's okay, but yeah. I, it, it still does surprise me how many little people I have seen who have indeed seen and love Demon Slayer. It still surprises me. It's a dark magical girl anime. Ooh, is it one that Ashley knows? Because I know Ashley likes the, the, the darker anime girl animes, but I haven't heard them. Oh, Madoka Magica. Yes, I know Ashley knows Madoka Magica. I've only heard it referred to as Madoka Magica. So you caught me off guard there. Because, yeah, I've only heard it referred to as Madoka Magica. I actually started watching Madoka Magica. I got, like, three episodes in and decided that I really hated the art style. So I didn't really want to continue watching it, not going to lie. Because <laughs> I feel like the art style really makes or breaks an anime for me a lot of the time. And I can be really picky on, um... Like, really, really picky, I should say, on art styles. Which is probably, like, not the best thing, but also I can't really help it. I just... I don't know. I felt like the, um... It felt like a cutout of a serial killer... Uh, vibe. And, uh... It, I don't know. It just was really off-putting to me. But yeah, I felt bad, because I know Ashley really loves that one, and they wanted me to watch it. And I was like, I'm sorry. I don't like it. <laughs> I'm sure the story is fantastic, but I could not get past the art style. One of the first things I liked about Demon Slayer was the art style. I was just really disappointed with Zenitsu, and didn't want to continue watching it because of him, to be honest. But... This season, he's been fine. He doesn't talk a lot. <laughs> it has a ton of different series, and the only part of the name that carries over is Puella Magi, so that is what I call all of them. Okay, that makes sense. I had no idea, though. I did not know that whatsoever, but that's really neat. I like it. I feel like I need... I, like... My goal in life is to have a massive crafting room that's dedicated just for crafting. That is, uh, not for, like, the 3D printing stuff, except, like, you know, actually 3D printing in the room and stuff, where I could have all of my machines sprawled out, and, uh, where I can have all my stuff, but I can, I really want a big like massive crafting table that I can cut on all the time because I got really spoiled when I worked in an alteration shop and they had one and I've wanted one ever since but alas no <laughs> most of them are only mangas oh that makes sense that's probably why I haven't heard of them but yeah if I had a big massive crafting table it would make my life so much easier for like cutting out patterns because then I wouldn't have to use like freaking scissors all the time I could literally just use a rotary tool on all of my patterns ever 
and it would be the best day of my life. <laughs> I hate the thing that I always procrastinate the most, but is like the most important part of any build is the patterning. I hate making patterns and I hate cutting everything out. It takes so much time and so much effort and I don't have patience for it most of the time. But it's the most important part and that's why it takes me so long to do some of these projects is because I hate patterning so much. Even when I start with a nice base pattern that's like pretty close, I still hate it because I still have to cut it out. I still have to cut out the pattern, then I have to cut out the mock-up, then I have to adjust the mock-up. Then I have to make a new mock-up just to double check everything once it's all said and done and lays properly. And then I get to cut out my actual pieces before I get to start sewing. And it's just, I always feel miserable during the process. <laughs> miserable, absolutely miserable. All right, I'm gonna see if I can fold this top over just a smidgies. So I have some more space. Yeah, patterning is my least favorite. And then cutting things out is also not a fan favorite of mine. <laughs> I'm just a weirdo like that, but honestly, it's fine. <laughs> Everything is fine. No need for concern, except maybe all of the concern. But... I don't know if I talked to Dark Clone and Super Demix about this yet, but I do have plans to enter this cosplay into the anime onsen cosplay competition uh, because they're a bit more chill. And while I am making a lot of the pieces of this cosplay, I'm not making like the belt or the shoes. Um, so I felt like this was a good one. And it also just needed like, how do I put this? I needed a really good reason to get my butt in gear on this one because I felt like I just started putting it off because of some a lot of self doubt and anxieties and so now I'm trying to get this into onsen so I'm trying to get it done so we're probably going to be having a lot more streams of me crafting you but like We'll see. I'm also trying not to overdo it with myself on this. Because, I don't know. I feel like this is not one that I need to be overdoing it for myself on. Just because kind of how, like, like the backstory for me with this project. It's not one that I really need to overdo. So if it doesn't work out, I will be dropping from the competition. But I am still trying to get my booty in gear to finish this. <laughs> and it'll be some good experience for me. Um... I'm trying to enter in as many cosplay competitions as I can so that way I can get some good experience um, with like how other people run them and stuff. Um, just so I can get a feel of like what I like about competing and what I don't like about competing because literally all that I have under my belt is NDK and that was... That was a weird experience at best. I enjoyed myself a lot. I thought the competition was overall pretty well run but there are some things that I just wasn't too sure on like is this a normal thing is this not a normal thing like how do other competitions decide to run and I also just want to like push myself to be to push myself as a crafter I suppose because the more I can push myself as a crafter I feel like the better I'm going to get and I want to be the best that I possibly can be as as a crafter especially in the cosplay world i want to be i want to be good i want to do i want to make good things i want to make good work i want to have a good time but like i really like throwing myself into this so i just i want to get good at what i do you know and pushing myself every single project is super helpful for doing them i do have some other anime i make may make centerpieces but my job is to fill up the rest of the spots that our main centerpiece maker can't fill ah i see i see what other ones are you thinking about but yeah i feel like entering competitions help helps me push my boundaries i feel like kazuha was a really good example of me uh 
pushing my boundaries and it paying off. And so I definitely want to like start doing that more. <laughs> Because I pushed my boundaries a lot with Kazuha on what I was comfortable with and what I felt like I could do and achieve, and it ended up paying off. People really liked it. Am I sad that he wound up in a river? Yes. But I still push myself to do some of the best work that I've done in years. And, like, part of that is I hadn't sewn for years because I was so burnt out on it. But I am very, very pleased that I was able to push myself how I, how I did. Even though I was exhausted, I was so worn out, I was so frustrated in that whole build, but it ended up working out to the point where I am, even though I can't wear him anymore, I'm still extraordinarily proud of what I did. And I wanna keep doing that. I wanna keep being proud of what I do and how I make things and pushing myself and becoming better every time. And I feel like, Adding the competition helps me do that. It gives me a solid deadline and it gives me a solid set of rules and objectives and goals that I get to follow and it's really nice. I really liked it. But I still wanna figure out, I guess, how I like competing and what competitions I like competing in because I know every competition is run different but I don't have a lot of like, I don't have a lot of experience under my belt with, with how a lot of competitions are run. So I definitely want to, so that way I can get a feel for like what kinds, what styles of competitions I'm interested in competing in. Jujutsu Kaisen, Gu, Gina, Gintuma? I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but what is it? And Hunter Hunter? Everyone says Hunter Hunter's great. Is Hunter Hunter one that you recommend, Dark Clone? Because, I don't know, I saw that one character that everybody always talks about. It's the one that's voiced by Keith Silverstein. I can never remember his name. I'm pretty sure it starts with an H. But I saw a few scenes with that character, and I was like, this makes me really uncomfortable. <laughs> so, like, I don't... I've been really reluctant to try and do Hunter x Hunter because what I have seen has made me so uncomfortable. But I don't know if it's just that one character or if it's, like... Uh, kind of like it's the style of the show or if the story is good enough that it's worth it kind of like Demon Slayer like the story is worth it the characters may not all be worth it but the story is very very worth it that's what I like about it I'm gonna move these guys but yes Jujutsu Kaisen is one that yes absolutely you should absolutely do Jujutsu Kaisen if you can I love Jujutsu Kaisen so much. I am waiting ever so patiently, but I know it's probably going to be a little bit before they announce a Blu-ray release. But like, a Blu-ray release would be so nice. I would totally buy Jujutsu Kaisen Zero like in a heartbeat on Blu-ray because I want to watch that over and over and over and over. It was so dang good. It was so dang good. Probably one of my favorite anime movies I've seen in theaters. If not my favorite, actually. But I'm still waiting on uh, the third My Hero movie to get a Blu-ray release in the States. Still hasn't. I've been really disappointed in that. Gintama <laughs> uh, is an alternate history samurai anime. Ooh. Is it kind of? kind of like token rambu or not because <laughs> i feel like token rambu is like cut it's kind of alternate alternate history since there are historical swords but like eh? Eh? iffy i haven't watched hunter hunter but superdemics has superdemics what do you think i know you're lurking right now but if you happen to hear me talking <laughs> or dark clone yells at you from across the apartment uh, what do you think of Hunter Hunter? I am curious. Wee! It was so... Everything... It's massive. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Uh... Hold on. <laughs> uh, this is not working out. Ah! There we go. Everything is fine. 
Ooh. All right. I don't know what I'm doing, but it's fine. You enjoy it? Do, um, do you think that it is something that I will enjoy? Because from what I have seen of the one... I know he's a villain, but the one villain that everybody likes... Uh, from the scenes that I've seen of him, it's made me extraordinarily uncomfortable. And I did not know if that was just a reflection of the character, or if that is a reflection of the entirety of the show. So I am a little curious about it. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> My papers are flying. Yuck. Ah! Stay. 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 Whee! Because, like, everyone, all my friends talk about Hunter Hunter, but I'm just like, from what I've seen, I'm just like, I don't know. I don't know, man. He's not a full villain. He's an antagonizing force, mainly. He's a reflection of the character. He's constantly battle horny. Yeah. That's what I... <laughs> that's what I've seen. And I know that the protagonists are young. Uh, so that was definitely part of my concern. <laughs> but I don't know. I don't know, man. Is that is that a thing I should be worried about, I suppose? I'm going to try and get this a little more out of the way. I feel like it's just very much in the camera. Woo! Maybe that's a little bit better of an angle. But yeah. Is that like... Is that kind of how the whole series feels? Or is it a lot different? Is it just the one character that's aggressively awful <laughs> kind of like demon slayer <laughs> he appears now and then but is not a main focus for most of the series okay but is he reflection of the series or just it's just that one character that's you know like that yeah yeah we I like bought a new roll of tape for this, but I feel like there's a good chance by the end of this I'm going to be out. <laughs> yep. It's just a reflection of the character. Okay, so what would you say the main like vibe of of the main story is? Like what is the vibe of the anime? Is it the series does get dark at points, but uh is his Hisoka is a little is in his own little section? Okay. Cause yeah, I just I I don't know. I am curious what the the normal vibe of it is, because like I've literally only seen the clips of the of that one one villain that's been uh, concerning at best. <laughs> uh yeah, and I know everybody loves them. <laughs> which it's also part of my reason for concern, I guess. Because so many people like this character, and I'm like, is this just, like, what the series is? <laughs> it's a shodan mainly following the growth of uh, Gon? Gon and his friends? I'm not sure if I'm saying any of that right. But I do enjoy shonen. Is it more along the lines of, like, um, like Naruto or Dragon Ball Z shonen? Or is it more along the lines of, like, Demon Slayer, My Hero, Jujutsu Kaisen? Like, what, I guess, what kind of a shonen is it? Is it, like, I'm assuming it's an action shonen, but is it more, like, long form meant for younger teenage boys or, like, very much the older crowd? Because Naruto is one that I'm, like, more Naruto and Dragon Ball Z, more long-form story arcs. Mm. I might give it a shot, but I honestly don't know if it's something that I would super enjoy. Because <laughs> I have a really hard time getting... Like, I tried getting into Naruto for a little bit, but I had a really... I had a really hard time with it. And Dragon Ball Z was another one that I was like, this is too much. Oh, this is too much. Um... 
But like, it also could just be the idea of like how much is in those that it's really intimidating. I think this one has a better starting traction than Naruto. Oh, okay. Well, maybe, maybe I'll give it a shot and see how I like it. I am still in the middle of Dr. Stone right now though. Um, I have not finished it. I haven't been able to watch it in a few weeks, which makes me sad. And like, I don't know if you guys are here, but like, <laughs> so I finally was able to start catching up with Demon Slayer again this week, which was really nice. Cause after a lot of like cosplay crunching for both photo shoots and co-af, I was just like not having time to watch anime. And Demon Slayer is one that I, I have to like sit down and watch. I can be crafting, but I, I it has to be something that I can't like that I don't have to like pause and get up for or do something else. Like it's something that I could mindlessly craft. So I hadn't been watching Demon Slayer for a few weeks and I was like, oh, I'm sure that like, it says it's been so long that they've dubbed everything. And the answer is no, they have not dubbed everything. They've dubbed everything besides the last episode. And so now I'm sad <laughs> because I got left hanging on a stupid cliffhanger. And I don't know when it's coming out. I figure it's going to be this Sunday, but I don't know for sure that it's going to be this Sunday that that dub comes out. And I'm just like, this is fine. I was kind of hoping I could get through before I started streaming Gyu Progress again, but nada. <laughs> uh, let's see. This would be one to save for a while. If you make it to the Phantom Tropes trip, Make it to, make it to the Phantom Tropes of, okay, I did read that right. And you're still going strong and you, you'll you want to try and watch episodes regularly. They'll cover a lot of interesting powers, world development, and character exploration. Ooh, interesting. Really, really interesting. Because, yeah, I know so many people talk about Hunter x Hunter. Kari in particular, Kari and Anthony both talk about Hunter x Hunter all the time. And I'm just like, is this another JoJo's Bizarre Adventure kind of a thing? Or is this something I might actually like? Because, <laughs> yeah, I did not like JoJo's Bizarre Adventure <laughs> at all. <laughs> oh, my God. I know it's really popular. I tried so hard because I had so, I had so many friends, have so many friends who love JoJo's. And I'm just like, I look at it and I'm like, I can't, I can't stomach this <laughs> This is not my cup of tea. And it makes me sad because everybody loves it. <laughs> Bungie gum. It has both the properties of rubber and gum. That's neat. I don't know what that has to do with anything. I'm a little confused <laughs> of why you're bringing up bungee gum. Oh, it's a Hunter Hunter reference. Okay, I was like, I know. <laughs> I'm so confused right now. <laughs> I got you. I got you. But yeah, all my friendos love JoJo's. And the two friendos that love JoJo's, I think, not necessarily the most out of all of my friendos, but talk about JoJo's the most out of all my friendos. Talk about Hunter Hunter the most. So I'm like, is this a JoJo's or is this something I might actually enjoy? <gasps> oh my god. I think that's everything. I think this is the last page. Unless my printer messed up. I think this is the last page. It's the main line. Anthony and I end up saying around each other. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I love that. I wouldn't say it's too much like JoJo. So it's a little bit like JoJo. <laughs> Honestly, part of the reason why I really disliked JoJo's was the art style. I can't get past the art style for a lot of it. Not only was it, like, really unsettlingly weird to a point where I couldn't stomach it, um, but uh, the art style is just wacky. I could, not, I could not get into the art style. And that was part of the reason why I was just talking with uh, Dark Clone earlier that I had a hard time watching um, Madoka Magica and why I never watched more than three episodes of Madoka was because of the art style. But Hunter x Hunter doesn't look like it has too bad of an art style. Like honestly, from what I've seen, it looks totally fine. It doesn't look anything too 
um, too weird or too out of my wheelhouse. I just like pretty pictures. <laughs> I like pretty pictures a lot. Okay, before I start cutting this, I'm gonna double check that, uh, you know, it's right. <laughs> that that is everything that I need. Okay, body measurements without ease. Sorry, this is gonna, I'm, I'm looking up on my phone the, um, the instructions that came with this particular pattern. So, okay, here is body measurements without ease. Waist, inches. Oh, um, let's see. I think I'm looking at a 38 or 40. I'm gonna measure myself real fast. Ah, it's similar in the strange power expiration, but Hunter Hunter doesn't act overly dramatic or too long-winded. You don't get too many character doing hour-long monologues to explain their power, hence why his, uh, Hisoka's. I, is it Hisoka? I don't, I'm sorry. I don't know if I've ever heard it, the, his name actually said out loud. Uh, is literally described in one sentence. Uh, bungee gum has both the uh, properties of <laughs> rubber and gum. Beautiful. Okay, that's nice that it's not long-winded. He so cut. Okay, so it's kind of like Ahsoka, but with a he instead of an a. Uh. Sorry, I guess I have to put things back to Star Wars. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to measure my waist real fast. It's been a second since I've done my wa my waist measurement. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. Okay. That's about what it was the last time I measured it. So that's not too out of place. So I need I'm gonna go on the bigger side and I'm gonna do a 42 for the size chart. And if everything is Star Wars, hi Evie, how are you? Everything indeed is Star Wars. I feel like the Star Wars fandom is kind of in a weird spot right now, including me, but you know. When is the Star Wars fandom not in a weird spot? <laughs> I am excited for Obi-Wan though, but I feel like it's been a while since I've been excited for something Star Wars. I do want to make a Visions cosplay at some point, but I feel like nobody knows anything about Visions, and so I'm just going to be standing there looking weird. <laughs> hey, whatever helps you figure things out. I will say some of the Hunter Hunter story arcs can be long, but it's more to do with, uh, with there being a lot happening and not so much with padding until one specific point. Uh... I got you. I feel like that's a lot of what shonens are, though. As long as there's a lot of story happening, I am not opposed to it. it depending on if I like the story or not. But I really love story stuff, like, a lot. It's why I like Demon Slayer so much, is because of story stuff. Hiya! I'm doing well while lurking, uh, just lurking while working on finals. Well, heck yeah! How's finals going? I am good. I am t I am super tired. <laughs> I am super tired, but I'm good. Thank you for the lurk, Super Demix. I appreciate you. So I'm going for the lime green line. I don't know if y'all can see it, but I'm going to go for the lime green line. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. I'm going to try and cut out this big piece first, just so I can it be a little easier to work with. But... Yeah. I like Star Wars. I miss loving Star Wars, though. The fandom is kind of a weird one. Whee! Yeah, so I'm going to cut the pattern at one size up from where I think I need to be, so that way I can adjust it, because the size, neither of the sizings of either of them match what... I actually am so I'm hoping if I cut a size up then I can just adjust it to my body shape and it will be fine 
It's just wizards in space. Enjoy it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yes and no. I love, I love the wizards in space. They're so much fun. But I don't know. How do I put this? I really... There's a lot of characters that I really, really love in Star Wars, but I feel like all the characters that I really, really love, the fandom absolutely hates for some reason. Uh, and it makes it a little difficult to, you know, enjoy it when everyone's just talking crap about my favorite characters. Ray is a really good example of this. Uh, yeah, I kind of had to stop doing my Women of Star Wars panel because people got mad at me. Um, so there's that, <laughs> but also like when the, the man, so I love the Mandalorian, the Mandalorian's great. And I actually was really enjoying the book of Boba Fett. The book of Boba Fett was really enjoyable up until a point. Uh, <laughs> uh, I hated that they just kind of made, basically made it like season two of the Mandalorian. Like everyone was like, oh my God, the Mandalorian episodes are so good. And I was like, honestly, that was entirely unnecessary. Why did they do just give Boba Fett his stuff? You don't need to have two episodes dedicated to the Mandalorian. Like ha maybe have half an episode if you want to bring him in. And that's fine. But two episodes, I was like, what is this? We get a mini series that's like, what? Eight episodes long and two of them are for the Mandalorian. This is outrageous. Absolutely outrageous. Well, yeah, the fandom just needs to calm down and have fun with it is what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. Also, maybe it's just a me thing, but I'm really done with them talking about the Skywalker saga. I like everything else that Star Wars has been offering, but the moment that they go back to the Skywalker saga, I'm just like, really, guys? Really? <laughs> yeah, season 2.5 of The Mandalorian. Yeah. I was a little disappointed by that. I really loved visions though visions was really good and while i'm excited for obi-wan i'm just like i don't know i personally felt really gypped by um the rise of skywalker um because i felt that man this doesn't line up um because i felt that the entire thing was in the end they made it so um, Anakin's story was completely null and void and didn't matter at all in the end. And then, you know, I really just hated the, the Rey and Kylo kiss, like, like, like a lot. Like, like, like a lot, a lot. I hated it. <laughs> uh, yeah. And so, I don't know. Going back and seeing Anakin in Obi-Wan is gonna be an interesting experience for me because I felt like Anakin Anakin was just kind of erased in the end from his own legacy because of what they did with Rise of Skywalker and so it's gonna be very emotional emotional for me to try and go back and see it in a different perspective if that makes any sense but that's just a me thing I know a lot of people really love Rise of Skywalker in comparison to like The Last Jedi or something. I am not one of those people, which is fine. But as my own personal perspective, I'm going to have a hard time with it. That's all. But I am excited for it. I, Ewan McGregor, by far, was my favorite thing in the prequels as an adult. Maybe not growing up, he was my favorite thing, but as an adult, it's he's my favorite thing in the prequels. When I was growing up, um, Padme. I mean, Padme. Padme and Arwen in Lord of the Rings, I can pinpoint as to being, ah, uh, yes, I think ladies are pretty. <laughs> I can pinpoint that immediately. So Padme was my favorite thing in the prequels growing up. <laughs> pants, 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 pants. I'm gonna snip this off so it's a little less cumbersome. In a safe place though, because it's oh, that's not a safe place. <laughs> Fair, <laughs> yeah. Sorry if I hit the microphone, I just gotta move this guy into a safer place since it still has pieces attached. <laughs> but yes, 
I am excited to see Ewan McGregor pick up the role again. And I'm also excited to see Hayden Christensen, for better or for worse. Hayden Christensen, just like like Andrew Garfield uh, and, and Ryan Reynolds, they, they, they all need their, like, redeeming moments with the characters that they were so hated for. They, I feel like a lot of actors deserve that. They need their redeeming moments with these characters because they were gypped the first time around. And I am excited to see Hayden Christensen actually get the moment he deserves to stop being ridiculed for this role and actually appreciate it. Because, like, oh my god, he actually did not do a bad job. It was just... He wasn't given much to work with. And I feel like a lot of fans kind of forgot about that. That, like... He doesn't get to control what he says. He, In the end, he doesn't even get to overall control, like, how he performs the scene because a director will come back to you with notes and be like, I, I, I kind of want it to be more like X, Y, and Z. And then they have to do it based more off of X, Y, and Z. And so he may have had an idea for a character that was, the, the character that was completely scrapped in the end. So I am excited to see him be able to redeem himself more or less but I am not excited for the idea of me having to emotionally revisit um, Anakin and Darth Vader because I was not a fan the color of duct tape hello mentally parking my own Star Wars opinions here but Deathly curious about the pattern you are using. If I may derail you for a moment. Oh, of course, of course. Um, so I bought this pattern off of Etsy. Let me pull up. So I have a little bit going on my phone here. So I bought this on Etsy from the Pattern Studio. This is the base pattern that I'm using here. I don't know how well you can see it. But this is the base pattern that I'm using. And I bought it on Etsy from the Pattern Studio. Uh, so far, I'm liking it. I've never used this pattern maker before, so we're seeing. But I'm cutting all of this out, um, and then I'll be making a mock-up of it so I can see how I like it, um, and then make my own personal adjustments to it, because it, he's got cutouts for this particular pattern on the side, which is pretty normal for this style of pants, but it is not how the Demon Slayer core uniform looks. So that's what I'm doing. Uh, let me see if I can actually find a link for you real fast, because I know it shouldn't take me but a moment. Just give me one second. Just in case you're interested. Also, it is more than okay to derail me if you have a question about cosplay or whatnot. I will never be mad about derailing uh, when you have a question about cosplay. Also, like, welcome into the stream. Super, super appreciate you being here. Oh, I love supporting Etsy. I shall give it a look over. Yes, give me one second. Let me see if I can find the, the pattern that I got. It's just going to take me a second to log in here because it looks like it signed me out of Etsy. Drat. But yeah, I prefer buying my patterns on Etsy or other... Um, similar style sites uh i try not to do too many commercial patterns unless i can't find what i'm looking for elsewhere uh but i tend to not do commercial patterns i gotta love stream skipping while i'm rendering out frames oh my god you're rendering oh my god i totally if you need to leave that's fine <laughs> i'm sorry if the stream is skipping on you i'm Rendering takes so much juice out of computers, it's ridiculous. Oh my god, everything is taking eight years. Okay, I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep cutting while I wait for my computer to pull up this pattern link. <laughs> it's taken a second. But yeah, I try not to do too many commercial patterns as my bases if I can. I just feel like there's not as many My computer's being really slow right now. Um, there's not as much variety in the commercial patterns, but I do use commercial patterns for uh, my base bases. I use 
I use base patterns all the time, but I prefer finding stuff that are closer than what commercial usually offers. And usually commercial patterns, you think you found them? Beautiful, okay. I'll still see if I can add a link if there's anybody else who's interested. It is, yes it is indeed. The pattern, sorry, yes, 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 it is. It is. Ah, uh, found it, perfect. Awesome, awesome. But yeah, so that's what I'm doing, I have base patterns on you can post the link I actually have it just pulled up the link for me well maybe hold on Whee! that should be it Heck yeah, all right. Let's go. <laughs> Pretty sure that's it's taking me to the correct place. Testing it out. Yep, okay, cool beans. I can also post my other patterns that I have if needed, but I probably am not dealing with those today because I have patterns, a base pattern for the Hayori and the, the top that I also found on Etsy too. Um, that I have to reprint and recut because Steven spilled <laughs> Steven spilled a bunch of water on the pattern. So I spent an entire day cutting out those patterns. And then Steven accidentally spilled water on them. And so now I have <laughs> to do it again. <laughs> it's fine. But I can post those too if that's something that y'all would be interested in. And what I will be using for those base patterns. Alright, I'm gonna set this to the side so I can have ease of cutting a little bit better. There we go. Rip. Yeah. It was a sad day. <laughs> but you know, I gotta I gotta finish watching Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid when I was first cutting out all those patterns. I <laughs> get divorced. <laughs> No divorce at this point, but I, I can honestly say I've threatened it before over <laughs> things like that. <laughs> I, just, I just look at him in a, the most joking manner possible. And I just look at him like, I want a divorce. <laughs> but yeah, I just, I was very sad, but it will be fine. We will totally be fine. <laughs> I know that feel. <laughs> Yup, sometimes it just, it be what it be. You love browsing seller, pattern seller, so I wouldn't mind. Okay, perfect. Give me one second. Let me pull those up for ya. Because they're, they should be easily accessible through this particular screen. But we'll see. What are you particularly working on these days, uh, Color of Duct Tape? Because it sounds like you are a fellow crafter, so what What do you like to craft? <sighs> and are you a cosplayer as well? Because we're all about cosplay here, and my whole life is dedicated to cosplay. <laughs> Fireworks of fire. Ah. Boop. And I, ca I also cannot attest for how these particular patterns are. Uh, I need to start cosplaying too. Yes, yes, you do. Um, because I have, I like, I've only cut them out, but I have not actually built them yet, so I don't know. But these, these are what I'm going to be using, and these are both from the same seller. So, I have so many ideas, but no money or time right now. Gosh, the amount that I feel that I'm a fellow cosplayer working on a headache of a ball gown, which isn't cosplay related and isn't that a touchy subject. 
Is it a touchy subject that you're picking out a ball gown? I personally have never built a ball gown. It's a little bit out of my wheelhouse. I um I don't have a lot of patience for uh skirts in general, let alone dealing with hoop skirts. So it's a bit out of something like I haven't I haven't done it. So let's see. Cosplaying is just selling your soul and getting everything to work out. Oh god, isn't that a mood? But I do I love cosplay. Cosplay is just so much fun. But yeah, the the ball gowns are a little bit out of my wheelhouse. So like big big applause to you on that one. I could never. <laughs> so I I applaud you. Um what style of ball gown are you working on if you don't mind answering that question? Ow. Come on. It's taking a second. It's fine. Everything's fine. Okay. We've got the back of the pants pattern cut out. We've got the back. Oh, this feels huge. I, <laughs> I keep looking at this and like this feels huge for just the back, but I also gotta remember there's gathering involved. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm just going to put that on the floor over there. I did a community challenge where I load all my patterns into a random selector. And then the darn thing landed on a historical museum gown. I have been working on this thing for five months now. It's hilarious. Oh, no. <laughs> that is pretty funny, but also... Ouch. <laughs> That's a big ouch. Of course it would land on something like that. <laughs> but it also sounds like it could be a very um, rewarding project in the end. Or at least I would hope it sounds rewarding. But, you know. Tis his life. How does... Okay. I see. I see. I see. Wee. Okay, I should probably get this so you can like see me cutting even though it's like not the most impressive thing. You probably still want to watch me do something. <laughs> Everything is fine. Uh, I need to troll through anime to find a character that matches it. Ooh. I'm trying to think of any that I can think off the top of my head that would match like a historical ball gown style, but I can't think of anything off the top of my head, but I'm sure there's something that kind of works with it. I feel like hoarding is the answer to this. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've got a giant fabric bin right here that's just overflowing with fabrics, and I... <clears throat> Dark Clone, Dark Clone and Super Demix can attest to, I pulled out fabric from a four-year-old project and cut it up for Tanjiro. <laughs> I've had that fabric sitting in this bin for five years, four years, five years, five years. Uh, so hoarding is kind of, I have fabric in here from when I first started cosplaying in 2015. I just, I don't know how to get rid of fabrics, man. I don't know how to do it. <laughs> it's so bad. And I have an, I have another bucket that's just full of random notions, like uh, buttons or elastic or beads or just anything just left over from projects that I'm just like, I don't know what I'm ever going to do with this, but <laughs> it's sure not going in the trash. <laughs> that more but yeah I also feel like I never have time especially cuz like I was playing Horizon Zero Dawn last night for the first time I've been playing Horizon Zero Dawn through the playthrough and I am just 
<sighs> Disappointed because I want to cosplay Aloy, but I don't know when I'm going to have time to make an Aloy cosplay this year. So I feel like time is not on my side ever when it comes to cosplay. So like, I feel it. And then Evie's also been working hard through going through school and stuff. So like, I do not blame her one bit for not having time to cosplay because she's got a little one and is in school. My friends and I often do fabric swaps where we load the boot of the car with stuff and then trade it into the shopping center parking lot. Nice. Honestly, that's amazing. I I just don't know what I'd ever want to part with. <laughs> I think that's the thing for me is because materials that I've had for years, I end up using at some point. It's just like, whether it's in, in the next year or in the next five years, it's really anybody's guess. But yeah. I just, I have no chill. <laughs> I have absolutely no chill at all. But yeah, patterning is like my least favorite thing to do in cosplay. And so I like buying the base patterns, but even still, I always have to do mock-ups because they never fit quite right. And especially with this project, I'm using really nice fabrics for this project. <laughs> and uh, I don't, I don't want to muck it up, you know? I don't want to cut something wrong that could have easily prevented with a few mock-ups. Because I always tend to, tend to do, make my patterns off of mock-ups. Sorry, I had to sneeze. <laughs> My friend Jinx wants to do a couple cosplays and I'm all ooh about it. No, I get it. I get it. But also you've been in the nerd world enough. I feel like you could probably have a good basis of what you'd want to do and like kind of where to start. So like, I don't know. I, f I feel like you could do it, but I, under I understand the, the whole like, I don't know what I'm doing and I don't know what I want to do or where to start or any of that shenanigans. For me, how I got into cosplay was just feeling inspired by Star Wars one day and was like, I'm going to be Kylo Ren. <laughs> and that's how I got into cosplay. It's like, I just think he looks cool and I want to be Kylo Ren. And then it just kind of like snowballed from there. And so sometimes you just need to find that inspiration. Don't force yourself if you're not inspired. That's something that I had to learn the hard way in cosplay is you will burn out if you do stuff that you are not inspired by. Um, I will never quite understand how people make things just because they're popular. If I'm not inspired by something, it's really hard for me to not get burnt out by it like it's i feel like it's the fastest way for me to burn out is making stuff that i am not passionate about and so sometimes you just need the inspiration to find the motivation and that's okay that's okay also i'm pretty sure i think i know jinx i'm pretty sure i met jinx through an old work friend. If I'm thinking of the correct person, I'm pretty sure I know Jinx. Goodbye. Oh, guys, guys, guys. Totally, completely unrelated. But Joanne's had more skeins in stock of the the blanket that I'm making, and it's I'm so excited. I haven't been able to work on this blanket in weeks. But they've they finally got back in stock of the of the color and I'm really excited about it. I'm also a little bummed because I'm making it for my uncle who is going through cancer treatments right now. And there's a possibility that he's going to be having to leave in like a week now to go to the cancer treatment center in another state and it's not going to be done in time for that because they were out of stock on that color for so long. 
but I am hoping at least I might be able to mail it to him, but uh, I was so frustrated, but I was very happy today when I went to Joanne's to get some muslin for this project to pattern, and I was like, I should check to see if they have some in stock, and they did, and I flipped out. I was so excited. Maybe one of these days I'll do a stream that's knitting, but knitting is a weird kind of a stream. I get distracted a lot while knitting, and you don't want to see me when I mess up on knitting. I get really mad at things. <laughs> knitting is it's a great way for me to deal with things, but when I mess up, oh, it's sad. <laughs> But yeah, I'm a little disappointed that it took them that long to get it back in stock, but they did. And it's so pretty. I love the color, and it's so soft. I want to make my own blanket at some point that is out of that same, like, brand. Because, oh my god, it's so fluffy, and I love it. And it makes, like, my my senses just love it. And I it's been very enjoyable to make because of it. But I haven't been able to, like, work on it in, like, three weeks because I've been out of yarn. <laughs> progress this is now the trash pile so this is the front part of me thinks this is not gonna hold my booty but we'll see if it does I might have to add some extra sections if it doesn't, but this is why we adjust our patterns through mock-ups. <laughs> All right, so we've got the hem cuff and waistband. Okay, bootiful, bootiful, bootiful. Woo! Part of me is, I don't know if my printer's going out or if this is just how the pattern's made, but like, I don't know how well you can see it, but like, the, the, the lines aren't super great. And I don't know if it's my ink in my printer that's like, no, I don't want to do this anymore, or if it actually is supposed to look like that. <laughs> but we'll see. Ah! Oh my gosh, thank you for the follow the color of duct tape. I appreciate you. Holy crap. Welcome, welcome. I I I am glad that you're sticking around. You seem like a lot lot of fun. Alright. I don't know. Oh, there it is. I my brain got confused for a second. Where are the outer line on this waistband? <laughs> What's supposed to be? Cut it so I don't forget. Meant to do that earlier. Sorry. No worries. No worries. I'm just. I'm just glad you're here. Welcome. Welcome. Uh, if I don't. I feel like I didn't do an introduction earlier, so like I'm sorry. But <laughs> I'm personify. I also go by Percy because it's a little bit easier for people to say Percy than personify. Um, I make a lot of cosplays <laughs> i i cosplay like a lot like i have no other interests in my life besides nerdy things and cosplay and i feel like it's all related <laughs> uh but yeah i i'm currently working on gyu from demon slayer as the title might suggest um and I've been working on this cosplay for a little bit. Mostly from Genshin, correct. I have been cosplaying a lot of Genshin <laughs> lately. I feel like I've been cosplaying, I've, oh geez, I feel like I've done at least one Genshin cosplay every single month since like September of last year. So much cosplay, all good, all the BBs. <laughs> yes, I do cosplay a lot of Genshin babies because I love them with my soul. <laughs> I'm a big, Big Genshin fan. Let me see if I can adjust this camera real fast. So you could potentially see. Hi, welcome to the other camera. But this is my Genshin print wall. 
I don't know how well you can see it, but I have some signatures and whatnot. And fun fact, guys, it's D. Luke's birthday today. <laughs> but yeah, this is my Genshin art wall. So I like to show it off because I think it's kind of neat. <laughs> but yeah, I cosplay a lot of Genshin uh, because it's fun. But I uh, am trying to cosplay other things. You being one of them right now. <laughs> Not me totally also working on Kuching right now, but that's beside the point. <laughs> uh, but I feel like I've been working on Gyu for a little bit, but I've been putting him off for one reason or another. Detailed stuff, Genshin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, very much so. Um, I... Uh, I love, I the design is in the details. I love doing detailed stuff. Like, uh, let me see. Yes. Uh, where's my other stuff? There we go. Is this two opposing sides? Just join me in Sword Boy Hell. I'm working on it. I literally joined Sword, Bo ha Sword Boy Hell earlier this week, so just shh. I'm working on it. A work in progress. Okay. So this is kind of what my Hiori style is. I am quilting uh, Gyu's Hiori right now. Uh, which is why everything is taking eight years. Sorry, I'm, my, my brain is trying to make sense of what my life is doing. There we go. So yeah, I'm working on quilting all of his stuff. That's upside down. I'm working on quilting all of his stuff right now, which is why it's taking so long. Uh, but this is this is a lot of what I've been working on for you is this. But my Cricut decided to take a poop uh, with their new design space update. So I haven't worked on this. This was my original plan to keep working on this today. Uh, but not a, it's not, yeah, I've been doing this, but <laughs> yeah, so the design is in the details, which is why I'm making Gyu and quilting all of this is because I like to add the details on here. Um, and that's part of the reason why I adore Genshin design so much is because I love the designs and the details. And while I hate printing all of the details all the time. <laughs> <laughs> my printer absolutely hates me these days, but it's worth it. It's worth. Um, but I don't. I don't just cosplay Genshin. I do cosplay a lot of anime too, and I also cosplay from League of Legends. So shh, shh, shh. I also want to cosplay from Horizon now, but you guys already knew that. <laughs> but yeah, it's a. Uh, Mostly Genshin. I just, I like the game a lot. I stream the game a lot. I play the game a lot. I love the game a lot. So I cosplay from the game a lot. <laughs> Hopping into quilting with a complicated pattern. You know it! Learn how to, learn how to quilt by starting with, uh, paint. Paint. <laughs> I had never quilted before in my life, but Dark Clone and Super Demix taught me the basics of quilting so I could quilt Tanjiro's Hayori, but uh, my Tanjiro wig has been MIA for a while, so I started working on Gyu instead, and uh, so we ended up with the tumbling blocks pattern <laughs> instead. <laughs> yeah, it's my first time quilting, and it's been taking forever to get through it, and I feel kind of awful about it because I'm usually a lot faster than this but Moss just like he'll, he's worth it it's worth it it's worth it to add the nice details and 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 design into into Gyu so he doesn't feel I don't know flat I feel like a lot of the bot costumes that I've seen for Gyu just feel very like flat and like kind of uninspired but maybe that's just like, after I did all that research for Kazuha, I'm so much more picky about, like, the samurai-style cosplays now. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> but it is what it is at this point. But it is really cool that I was able to start learning how to quilt, even if it's been a pain in the butt. <laughs> 
absolute pain in the butt, but you know, it's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> trash. Just like me, trash. Okay, I think it's basically all the same line, just to dip, like, I don't think I have to adjust this. It looks like there's only one cutoff line that's different and everything else is the same. So I'm gonna assume that that is the case. But it's hard to tell with this multicolored dot sometimes. <laughs> Because I don't see any green in the dot, so I wonder. But it's also multicolored, so it might just be all the colors combined. <laughs> I don't know what my life is. Okay. I don't know how to do anything straight, apparently. Including cut. Okay. Whoop. I need to get a trash can under my desk, but I don't know if I have any space under my desk for a trash can. Everything is fine. No need for concern. Blech. Okay, not me dropping like everything. Nope, nope, not me. <laughs> Whee! I'm gonna put that out of the way. Alas, I will be off. I wish you a wonderful, successful crafting stream. Thank you so much for popping in. It was so nice to meet you, the color of duct tape. You seem so sweet and so nice. Um, I hope you have an excellent rest of your day and good luck on your historical ball gown. I hope that it goes super duper, super duper well. Farewell. Farewell, new friend. <laughs> Is it cut? Everything. Oh, I can, okay, this side I see a little bit of green, so. What do you mean by this? I'll figure it out. It has front, back written directly next to each other, so I need to look at this to see if there's a fold line that, that, that's there instead of what looks like is this fold line. I don't know. What's this? What's this? Not straight is what this is. Blech. Okay. Woo! All right, guys. We have successfully taped and cut out all of the pattern pieces. Yay! Okay. I'm going to eat another bite of uh, my chicken. One second. I can't believe that it's already almost three, it, not almost, it's past three o'clock. That's wild. Where has this afternoon gone? Mm. All right. So, I'm gonna read, read these and then see if there's anything that I need to pay attention to. I might just need to look at the guide that they sent.
green fabric and elastic. Okay. Fabric and lining don't overlock the edge. Seam allowance is already added to the pattern. Beautiful. I love that. Let me see. I don't, let me turn this down. Maybe you can see it better if I turn the brightness down. Maybe? Okay. It looks like there's a video tutorial for a step-by-step. -step. <gasps> Fancy! Seam allowances are added. Cutting guide. So... It looks like most of them are cut two. But... One... Cut two. This is the other strip. No, that's cut two. They're all cut two. Wacky. All right. Wait, is my mic on? No. Yes? Okay. The mic is on one of my my thing labeled headphone is turned off on OBS well, my mic is labeled on why are you on the bottom of my cup that's rude okay uh, of course after I've moved all my machines onto the ground it's fine though everything's fine <laughs> okay and for those of you who are not necessarily aware. This is a shared crafting space. So me and my bestie Ashley share this crafting space. This is their side. This is my side. My side is more messy than their side, but you are looking at their progress right now, not my progress. Just like, as an FYI, don't be worried about it. <laughs> I don't need it. I want to tuck that in. And then let's see about moving this camera. Hi guys! Yeah. Stop being weird. There we go. I don't know where I want to point this, except that way. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. It's going that way. I always feel like crafting streams are hella chaotic. All right. Chaos reigns. <laughs> I don't know if you can see me literally at all, but it's fine. I'm going to need to pull up chat on my phone so I can keep an eye on you guys. All right. They've been working on a Madoka Magica cosplay, and they've been ruffling ribbon with, I think, Organza? It looks like Organza. Life is chaotic! Mood! Mood! <laughs> Life is so chaotic. Alright. This has a nice pretty fold line on it still, since I just picked this up from Joanne's today. So we are going to use it. I don't know. I think you guys can kind of see me. I can't super tell, but it's fine. Maybe. Hold on. Let me look from here. Yeah, okay, you can just see me chilling on the floor, and then you can see my cricket, of which I am angry at right now. <laughs> I am very angry at my cricket. Oh no, I can't use the fold line! Rip. Okay, never mind, fold line. Does the fold line fit this one, maybe? Haha, <laughs> it does! Okay, so it's just that one that I can't use the fold line on. That's fine, everything's fine. 
No need for concern. Please stay up. Please stay up. <laughs> Damn rip. Yep. <laughs> It be, it be like that sometimes. I got the cheapest muslin I could possibly find because in I, I am broke and I did not need honestly all that much muslin. So I got the cheapest muslin, but it is shorter in terms of depth. And so it doesn't really surprise me. I'm just a little sad. I also just forgot my straight pins. I need straight pins. It sounds fine. Yeah, we'll be fine. It's just... A little more work but it's honestly not all that bad and that's what matters where's my fold line though I don't think I have a fold line actually I have a grain line which is great but I don't think I need a fold on this which is nice okay yeah so there's no need for concern there's not a fold line for the pattern so I don't, basically, if you don't know what that means, it means that I don't have to, I'm not cutting this as one half of a singular piece. I am actually cutting out two separate pieces of this, which I feel like is a lot easier sometimes. But if you want one big piece that's symmetrical, you can put it on the fold line and then voila, it's all one piece. But I don't need it for this because this is just pants and this isn't. Weird like Kazuha's pants. <laughs> oh my god. Goodbye. <laughs> I see that. Why did you do that? You still have a car, honey. You're fine. You don't need to see the BB. Uh... Steven is here. Uh, he's hiding from you guys, but Steven is here. He just he just dropped off his car in Denver um, to spend more money on the ceramic coating on his wrap so it can stop getting messed up. One piece? That sounds like... Ah, uh, ah, uh, Mine? I don't... Sounds like the I'm blanking on what you're trying to say here, Evie. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sure it's hilarious, but I'm blanking so hard. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> but Steven dropped off his car and he's complaining that he doesn't get to see her for a week. Despite the fact that she's going to be safe in a garage the whole week. And you have another car to drive. <laughs> it might be falling apart, but you can still drive her. <laughs> Anime and... S oh, I see. I see. I see. I see. Okay, I get it now. I was so confused. <laughs> I've never... I've never watched One Piece. I'm not gonna lie, so... My brain just never, never goes there. One Piece just seems way too intimidating to get into. Don't do it. <laughs> I go home after work and I don't want to do shit, so I'm probably just stare at the wall. And, yeah, One Piece just seems like too much, and also not necessarily my style of anime. The really long-winded animes are not usually my thing. Naruto and Dragon Ball are really good examples. Oh. Steven, can you leave me alone? <laughs> what? You missed the car? Go miss the car somewhere else. Go play Genshin or something. <laughs> Just, I just need you to stop bothering me, honey. <laughs> yeah, I've never watched more than like two episodes. Yeah, it's just it seems way too intimidating to get to, into, and it's it looks maybe it looks it is incredibly long winded. It doesn't just look it; it is incredibly long winded. <laughs> 
Steven, shut up. <laughs> Steven's over here cracking jokes, and they aren't good jokes. What? <laughs> what? It's suck when it comes to pacing and power scaling. Mm. Sounds like fun. Sounds like fun. I. I wonder. Hang on, y'all. Let's have a big brain thought here. <gasps> it almost just might. What time? If it's not until this evening, no. But if it's this, like, okay. Okay. It should have ended a long time ago. Yeah, that's what I heard. Okay, so I'm going to attempt this and try and use a rolling cutter on this because this is about the size of my cutting mat. So we'll see if I can big brain this and do this without messing it up too much. <laughs> but we'll see. It's not it's not a necess necessarily a uh, a consistent thing that I'm actually good at doing this. That was not straight, but it doesn't matter. This is just a mock-up. <laughs> We're doing fine. <laughs> I'm doing this with my non-dominant hand, and it's not even close to straight, but it's fine. And I cut some of the paper. Whoop! It's fine. <laughs> I cut a nice long strip of the paper <laughs> whoops Obi-Wan Kenobi oh it should be General Kenobi I forgot that he says General shut up we uh, I'm definitely cutting some of my pattern it's fine everything's fine faster than using scissors but then again I feel like most things are faster than using scissors I'm gonna try it without the guard and see if that works better nope that's anything but straight <laughs> it's fine everything's fine no need for concern There you go. Whoop. That's the main plan. Uh, okay, so gotta get going back. I want to cosplay with Jinx, and they want to be Yugi, and I'll be his dark magician girl. <gasps> yes! I love that. That's fantastic. Do it. Do it, do it, do it, do it. That's a good plan. I know that uh, Super Demix really likes Yu-Gi-Oh. They tried to get me into Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm not very good at it, but they're trying, man. They're trying. <laughs> Wee. Ah. But from what I've seen, Dark, Dark Magician Girl has always looked cute. Always, always looked cute. I have yet to see... A dark magician girl design that isn't super duper cute. Cause I Yu-Gi-Oh is fun to cosplay from. The wigs are a pain though. Yes. I have seen some crazy styles. And that do is doesn't look like the most fun. <laughs> but I do. But then I also want to be uh, Seto, and then we can be gay together. Yes. <laughs> I mean, yeah. And if if can be gay, be gay. I am of the the very firm belief. 
when when be gay be gay <laughs> when can be gay be gay always be gay ow my goodness gracious i love cosplaying gay characters they are so much fun and be gay do crimes yes always be gay do crimes See if I can get this pinned. I feel like this is going a lot faster than I thought it would go, which is really nice. <laughs> but yeah, Super Demix likes to play Yu-Gi-Oh a lot. And they got me to start playing uh, the Master Duel game for a bit, but um, I honestly haven't played it in a few months, and I feel kind of bad, but I haven't played it in a few months. Always go for the gay, yes. Always go for the gay. Um, I also, like, I'm having a really hard... Because like, I was thinking about this week. I don't know if I have any straight ships in Genshin. Like, I really don't know if I have any straight... Like, a single straight ship in Genshin. I feel like every single one of them are just... Extraordinarily gay. <laughs> I pin this. I think I need to take a quick break and eat some food. Because I just heard my tummy rumbling. Okay. Oh. Let's change up some screens. Whoop. Rolling over my trash here. All right. Yeah, I need to take a second and finish my food. I am so hungry. And my tummy's like, no, you need food right now. <laughs> I'm so bad about eating food sometimes. And it sucks. <laughs> Who needs straight chips? Yeah, right? Like, straight is kind of like... It's so overdone at this point. <laughs> Not me, who's wearing my, uh, my gay ship t-shirt. You guys, this is the t-shirt that's available in my stream store. So, it says, uh, this ship has sailed, and it's got a gay ship with some trans stars. And I love this design so much. It's my favorite. But, like... Who needs a straight ship when you can have a gay ship? Literally. <laughs> All my life I have seen straight ships. I'm tired, right? It's entirely unnecessary. Gay ship. We need gay ships. <laughs> gay ships is where it's at, ma'am. It's like, I don't know. Straight is so overdone. I just need the gay ones now. My shipping eat a bag insert is so gay. Oh, yes, it is. <laughs> you have a lot of gay eat a bags, and I love it. I actually need to start putting mine together. I just, I always put it off for some reason. I don't know. I don't know why. I just do. I had a boyfriend for a few months ago, and I was like, ew, hetero. <laughs> right? I hate that. Like, Steven and I are straight passing, and like, everyone thinks we're straight, but I'm just like, nah fam. Not even a little bit. <laughs> but yeah. I really can't think of a single straight ship that I have in Genshin. Because, like, I went through all the characters, and I was like, 
so Steven and I were talking about trying to do a ship shippy cosplay from it, and he wanted to do Toma and Ayaka, and I was like, but Toma and Ayato is better. <laughs> The only saving grace of this is that we are both trans, so, like, not straight technically. I mean, I guess. <laughs> it still feels pretty straight to me, but it's, it's like, straight light. <laughs> tomato. Yes, tomato. Oh, my God. It's my ship. I love, I love the tomato ship so much. I don't know. I have a really hard time doing straight ships. Straight, diet, straight, straight zero. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I mean, that's kind of what it feels like to me. It's straight, but like, not quite straight. We'll do that someday. I'm so excited. I've been looking for a Toma cosplay, but I can't find any ones that I like that are purchasable that come in my size, so I might just end up building him. He honestly doesn't look like the, the hardest character to build from scratch, but... Some of his details are going to be annoying. That's all. Because <laughs> he's got the little fire design on his the back. The butt flaps that he's got. I don't know what else to call them. They're little fabric flaps that sit on his bum. And uh, that's going to be a pain, but it'll be fine. <laughs> My wig should show up by the end of May. Heck yeah! I'm so excited for that. It's gonna be amazing. Oh my god, yes, I'm so excited for that. Okay, so I started playing Token Rambu um, this week, as Dark Clone is very aware, but I started playing the Token Rambu mobile game, and I don't know how I feel about the mobile game yet, I'm not gonna lie, but I got Connie-san on my first day playing, and then I, and then I forged him again the next day and it made me so happy he's like he's my favorite and I love him but I finally got Kashu today which was nice <laughs> but yeah like I'm really excited for the switch game in particular I'll probably end up streaming the switch game but I need to make Kani-san at some point I just <sighs> I need to figure out how much time I'm gonna have and I need to pick a design based on that time because, like, part of me wants to do the normal version, which, like, is the one of the better ones. But also, I really love the ponytail version that he's got. BRB? Okay, see you in a minute. I really want to do the ponytail version, but that's going to be a lot more work. But also, the musical version would be a lot easier. But Token Rambu is not the most identifiable thing right now. And I feel like people will really have no idea what the hell I'm cosplaying. <laughs> you got Kashu on your first date. Was Did you pick him as your starter? You know, that makes sense. That makes sense that you picked him as your starter. I wanted a bunch of them, but you were just like, here's the art. <clears throat> here's like the description of each of them and their characteristics. And I went for the one that was artistic. And that was literally my only decision maker. Because <laughs> I wanted a lot of them. I ended up getting the two that like I knew beforehand already. I've already forged them, which is nice. I think Steven needs to cosplay them at some point. But we'll see. I do. 
I am excited for the Switch game, though. Yes. <laughs> That's Connie-san's older brother? That's what I figured, based off of the, um... Surname? But I didn't know for sure. But... I love Connie-san. He's, like, my favorite. I think he's gonna remain my favorite for a while. And I think it's definitely just because of what happened in Katsugeki. But also, what a handsome, what a handsome character. The gender envy for Kani-san is so real. <laughs> oh my god, the gender envy is ridiculous. But he's gorgeous. You can do his duty outfit or his... Yukata? Maybe. Like I said, I need to determine how much time I've got. Because if I can determine how much time I'm going to have to make him, I can kind of go based off of that. But right now it's hard determining how much time I'm going to have. Because, like, I'm still working on competition pieces for Fan Expo and NDK. And I don't know how, uh, how those are gonna go. My hope is I can finish up my Fan Expo piece long before Fan Expo. But honestly, I'm not really sure if that's gonna be possible. Because if I can finish it long before Fan Expo, then I should have plenty of time before NDK. But... I don't really know, man. Oh, it's gonna be something. Hopefully it's... Hopefully it's fine. But we'll see. I'm sorry, I'm like so hungry. <laughs> so I'm trying to finish my food. Like, I got food and like, oh, I'll just snack on it while I'm making stuff. Not even thinking. What I'm crafting <clears throat> is when I absolutely forget to eat all the time. So, I just need to eat my food. I have it right here. I can't put it off. I'm not going to put it off. <laughs> We should watch the concert bits of musicals before you decide if you want to do the musical outfits. That's true. The musical outfits just look like a whole lot less extensive pattern. Which is what draws me to them in terms of build. But he's going to be complicated either way with the wig. And I need to figure out if I can find files for the sword. But I feel like since it's not super popular, it's going to be difficult to find files for the sword. So I guess we'll see. Welcome back, Evie! How is your break? <laughs> His hair is insane. His hair is ridiculous, especially them bangs. Eat that canes. Yes! I like my fried chicken. Thank you. <laughs> I love fried chicken so much. And canes has excellent chicken fingers. So, I'm impartial to it. It's also, like, not that far from my house. So... I tend to eat there a lot. If you don't want to make the sword, I can lend you the one I have. 
if I end up not having time, I might take you up on that. But I still want to make the sword at some point. I still want to own Kani-san. Because... I'm going to want to cosplay him more than once. <laughs> I went to ask wife this thingy and grab a tiny ice cream cone from the freezer. Oh, heck yeah! What kind of ice cream are you eating? I love ice cream. They're so good. I have... I don't have ice cream right now, but I have, like, frozen fruit for my frozen desserts right now, and I've been really living on it. It's like frozen fruit puree. Oh, it's so good. I love it. And when I say tiny, I mean it's so small, like, finger, like, oh my god, that is a small, that's so small. Oh my goodness. That's like, it's a mini dessert. <laughs> the Katsugeki art book has a page for the sword alone. I love that. But, like, I need to see if I can find files. If not, I want to see if I can try and model it myself. And then I use those references. But modeling takes so much out of me that I don't do it unless I absolutely have to. And there's some things that I still can't do. But his is pretty simple enough, I think, that I could pull it off. But, oh my god, I hate modeling so much. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> but maybe I'll, do, I'll use that as reference if I have to. But you know me, I like to 3D print my stuff. I actually have Gyu's sword that I'm still working on finishing up the priming process for upstairs. That in the sheath. I've had to do quite a few layers of prime, priming and sanding on it to get it smooth. Because um, with all katanas, I have to melt the seams together or else they just kind of fall apart because it's such a thin blade. Um... So, it's been a lot of trying to uh, get everything smoothed out since then on that katana. And oh my god, it's taking so long. <sighs> but it'll be fine. It'll look really cool when it's done. But it's, take it's taking me a second. Which, I like, I thought maybe I could try and get through the rest of the priming this morning. And then get the, uh, the blade uh, coated in spray paint so I can hand paint the rest of it for stream today, but that also didn't happen because I noticed that there was some boo-boos that were happening with some of the priming, so I had to sand that down and then prime it again, so we were making pants today. <laughs> but my goal for, like, this weekend is to work on you so I can try and get it done by the end of next month. We're still technically in April. Because Anime Onsen is the last weekend of this month. The only fancy bit is the handguard and a bit on the sheath. Yeah, the handguard the handguards are always the worst part. <laughs> mm. For any katana, it's always the handguard that's the, the ornamental part, and that's why I hate them, but... In terms of the general overall thing, I think I could probably do it, but oh god, the handguards always piss me off. Because Steven was trying to make Uzui's um, blades, also from Demon Slayer, but he was trying to make Uzui's blades. And I ended up just buying the, the files, like the 3D print files, because the handguard was too much to try and make out of foam like he was intending. And now I'm just 3D printing the whole things all together, but I, I haven't started on that yet, unfortunately, uh, because my printer has been a little, uh, little sad. <laughs> it's been clogging, and it's been jamming, and it's been really mean to me lately, so I'm still working on trying to finish printing the Miss Splitter Reforged, while also trying to get through um, a friend's jink like arcane jinx pistol and so i haven't even started printing uzui's blades like i had intended to already be done with by now but my printer is being so freaking mean <laughs> i just need it to stop being mean uh everything's fine <laughs> everything's fine at least 
it isn't Yasusada's handguard. Oh my god, Yasusada's is terrible in terms of detail, but all so gorgeous. Yasusada is another one that I still am genuinely considering cosplaying at some point. While Kanisan is my favorite and is the one, if I ever found a bot cosplay of Yasusada, I would cosplay him in a heartbeat. He is such a precious bean and definitely my favorite character in um, Hanamura. He's no Kanisan, but he's still a precious bean, and I love him. <laughs> but I have yet to find a bot cosplay that would fit me for him, so I haven't even considered it. And then there comes, you know, the whole <laughs> making the sword thing. But honestly, I'm a little full right now. I still have, I still like have half a chicken left and some fries. But I think I'm going to save it till I need a snack on something. So we can get back to doing the thing. Ooh. Okay. I need more Yasasadas to do shippy pictures with. I would totally do Yasusada and um, Kashi with you. We'll just do all the ships together. All the sword boy ships. <laughs> Except for Toma. Toma's not a sword boy. He's a pole arm boy. <laughs> Alright. So. Ugh, this is going to be interesting. So, while I was on my way home from Joann's today, I bought this from Joann's so I have extra caffeination for later today, after I finished my Kane's caffeination, but someone almost hit me, <laughs> so I had to slam on my brakes and this went flying across my car. So, yeah, I was really, I was I was really pissed about it. I almost got in a car accident five minutes before we went live. So <laughs> that was fun. That was super duper fun. <laughs> uh, yeah. So I'm going to gently attempt to open this without it um, blowing up. We'll see though. I was trying to give it a little bit of a rest, but we'll see if it was enough of a rest. Yamba Magiri uh, Mikazuki is another Togarambu ship I really want to do at some point. Magiri, <sighs> I think. Uh, I know the first one, but I can't recall the second one on what they look like or if I know them. Wait one second. We're gonna we're gonna Google this. I can never remember some of their names sometimes. And that's on me. I am terrible with names in general. Anyone who's ever watched me watch an anime ever, I can't, I, oh. Name recognition is not <laughs> my strong suit. I don't know if I know Mikazuki. I can't. I am, man, I am really trying to place this, and I don't remember him in either of the animes. I, he's beautiful moon sword. Mm. He is very beautiful, as in most of the token Rambu boys, but ah, man. I really can't recall if I know this sword because I, uh, his face is making me draw a blank here. He's in the first unit in Katsugeki. Mmm. Honestly, Yamabigiri is the only one that I remember from the first unit in Katsugeki. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I probably need to rewatch it just so I. Can. Uh, I it didn't blow up. Not even a little bit. Even though it flew, oh my god. So it was sitting outside of the Joanne's bag because she didn't put it in with like my yarn and stuff, which like, good on her. But like, so it was sitting outside of the Joanne's bag and it literally, when I had to slam on my brakes, it literally shot, 
cap first into my glove box, bounced back onto the, 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 the edge of the seat, and then slammed on the floor. And I was like, this is going to be a nightmare to open this bottle. But it did not do any of that, and I'm super excited. <laughs> but yeah, I probably need to rewatch Katsukeki. For more than one reason, it was very, very good <laughs> for starters. But second of all, I don't remember anybody in the first units <laughs> except Yamabe Bakiri. <laughs> all right, let's get back to oh, cherry. I love cherry. I love cherry cola so much. <laughs> it's so good. All right, let us get back to um crafting pretty sure this is the right screen that I need yes perfect okay I'm gonna pull up my phone again so I can pull up chat again uh, I, who are you why are you messaging me I feel like I always have like 800 messages from people that I don't know and it's so overwhelming all right let's go back to pinning this bish Why? Hold on. My chat did not load correctly. He's all. He also shows up in a in season one of Hanamura and kind of causes Kashu's breakdown in that season. Man, I'm really not remembering that at all. Yeah, I am. I I don't remember that. <laughs> I don't remember that at all. That's a bummer. I feel like I zoned out in Hanamura too many times. I need to go back and finish it and probably rewatch it a little bit. Um, it's oh, the slices of life can be so nice, but also I feel like they can make me sleepy sometimes <laughs> I zone out a little bit too much on those slices of life despite the fact that I think they're good but I really wish I could remember him that would be nice <laughs> uh, bummer ah! just casually tossing straight pins it's fine everything's fine I think that's why I like Katsugeki better because it's more I like the the, the action-y animes are the ones that, like, I always feel like I'm more, like, in tune, in tune with. I can pay attention to them a little bit better, and the ones that I tend to enjoy more are the, the action ones, which is why, which is why I enjoy shonen animes, but, yeah. He even does the whole shirtless, I'm done playing around bit in battle in that episode, too. Why don't I remember this? Shame on me. Shame for shame. Yeah, I can't. I, I literally cannot remember him at all. I'll have to go back and rewatch it. But if we say say we were to do this 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 token Rambu ship, who would you want to be? Who who is the one that you would want you would want to cosplay? Because I don't know much, I, I don't know much about Yamba Bagiri, but I, I definitely don't know any anything about the other one, because since I can't remember him at all. <laughs> but who would you want to be? Yamba Bagiri? Okay. I figured. So, I guess if we do it, I need to figure out who this other sword boy is, and if I like him. <laughs> Everything is fine. Did my music stop? I feel like my music stopped. It's an important mechanic from the game, too. I know it's an important mechanic in the game. I see them have their clothes ripped off a lot, which is... I don't... Honestly, that's the part I don't know how I feel about. <laughs> when they're just like, oh, no, I'm wounded in battle. Must take off clothes. <laughs> Sir, what are you doing? What are you doing? Put your pants back on. <laughs> it's 
never it's never too much to like oh my god this is indecent this is inappropriate but it's still just like it still is jarring to me every time oh no i'm wounded my i am losing layer of clothing <laughs> it's very jarring to me at least but i don't know man I don't know what we're talking about, but that's all I want to do. <laughs> okay, so there's this anime slash um, game. I don't know much about the game besides I play the mobile version and there's a Switch version coming out. Uh, the, um, Dark Clone can tell you more, but I, I liked the anime, so now I'm playing the, the game. Um, but it's, a, it's about a historical swords that are like, have humanoid personas to them and they fight evil and stuff like that and it's pretty cool but when they get wounded in battle they're just like yeah their shirt comes off and it's <laughs> i don't know how i feel about it sometimes i'm like why why are you taking your shirt off right now <laughs> uh but i i want to cosplay at least one of the the swords from from that particular from Token Rambu, from Katsugeki, the anime in particular, but it's very cool. I like it a lot. I'm planning on doing shippy photo with uh, Miyazuki's sword because of the big story event that just happened in the game. Oh, heck yeah! That's awesome! I'm super excited to see that. I, um, uh, I don't really understand how the events work. I tried it and was like, I don't get it. But also, to be fair, I started playing that that game this week, and I don't get the majority of how it's played yet. <laughs> I'm just like, wait, what? <laughs> what is happening? Oh, look, a pretty sword. <laughs> but it's cool. It's cool. I like it. I don't know how much I'm gonna stick with the mobile game, to be honest, but it makes me more excited for what the Switch game might might be bringing. I just really liked Katsugeki. <laughs> and I wanted to start playing it so I can say that I had started playing it just for you, Dark Clone. <laughs> and you're like, it's been at the mobile game's been out for a year. I'm like, I should probably do that considering I, I apparently told you over a year ago that I would check it out and I got as far as checking out the anime, <laughs> and that was it. <laughs> Whoopsies, my bad. The Switch game is a warrior style game, so it's different from the base game. Yeah, that's that's kind of why I feel like I'm a little bit more excited for it, because the mobile game, I'm not quite sure if it's my style of game yet, but the warrior style of game, definitely, I've played games like that that I've enjoyed, so I, I there's a good chance that I will get hooked onto that a lot more easier than this game, if that makes any sense. I just keep hurting. Even though it's not even, this is going faster than scissors, and really? So that sounds interesting. I'll have to check it out, maybe. Yes! Okay, so... I recommend checking out the animes because that's what I like, but that's just a me thing. So there's Katsugeki, which is more of an action-y anime. There's a lot of action that goes on in that one, and that's my personal favorite. But then there's the um, Hanamura, which is like the slice of lifestyle. And there's more in the slice of life Hanamura than there is of Katsugeki, but there's two different animes. I enjoy them both. I have not finished Hanamura yet, but Katsugeki is my favorite. I loved that one. It was great. So, I personally recommend that, but there is a mobile and PC game that I just started, the mobile version, but yeah! But, uh, Mikazuki is going to be in it. Ooh! Is, is Kani-san gonna be in the Switch game? Because I'm gonna be sad if he's not! <laughs> Cause we all know he's my favorite, and it's just he—it's—it's him. It's I am ride or die for him, man. <laughs> Katsugeki, Token Rambu, and Token Rambu Hanamura. Yes, yes, yes. I need to take this pattern off so I can cut the other one, since I couldn't do double on this one. No. Da, 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 
does not have any of the Shinsengumi swords in it. That's, that's rude. That's rude. Anybody that I like that it's gonna be. <laughs> that's rude. Rude. Rude, rude, rude. <laughs> I am offended. That's why I asked. I added uh, Yagen to my cosplays. Ah, I see. They do have cousin. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Man. I don't know. I'm a little apprehensive about Connie Sun not being in it, but I'm biased. <laughs> Maybe I'll find a new sword in that game that I really like. Maybe maybe it's gonna let me branch out and find a new sword that I admire. So we'll see. We'll see. But I am excited for that game. Oh, missed one. Yeah. I feel like No. I'm not gonna take this opportunity to start pinning because I'd rather do that while I'm sitting in a chair and not on the floor. Yet, all right. From this other side, I'm gonna cut out the strippies if I can. Yeah, yeah. Yoo-hoo, yoo-hoo. All right. Okay. Ugh. So I need two of these and two of these. Is that gonna be enough space for the two? <gasps> Maybe. Maybe. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. Yes, we love this. We love this. There's going to be 16 swords in it, including a game-exclusive sword who I want to cosplay. Ooh, fancy. Fancy, fancy. I feel like you can't... Hold on. I wonder if I moved my camera at some point. Because I just realized that it's not super centered on what I'm doing. You just can kind of see my machine. So let's be a little more centered on what I'm doing. Ta-da! Okay. It's a little better. <clears throat> Sorry, I did not even realize that it got a little moved. So it's fine. Well, it's fine. We'll fix it. We'll fix it. Whoop. Do you know when the Switch game is coming out for it? They just opened up a digital pre-order for it. <gasps> what? What? But is there a release date for it? But I need to look. I need to look for this now. Hello. To. Pen. Run. Ooh. Switch. Oh my god, that cover is amazing though. Art not art not final. <laughs> Me is like, oh my god, that artwork's gorgeous. Not final. <laughs> I don't know if there's a release date. It's not telling me that there's a release date. Hmm. Five twenty four. Oh, another. Oh, another cosplay I was reminded of. Uh, MHA themed. Either Toga or Ochako for me and Jinx. Ooh. That's gonna be awesome! Heck yeah! I love my hero cosplays. My hero cosplays are freaking awesome. Dark Cone and I are actually gonna be doing a shoot here soon of the stealth suits from the movie, and I am super excited for that. Wait, it comes out next m month? 524? Because it didn't say that there was a release date, and that's like really close for their not, if for even GameStop to not have a release date listed on the website. Am I wrong on this one, Evie? Is that 
weird that if it if it's coming out next month and there's not a release date listed on the GameStop website, I feel like you'd know more than me on that one. <laughs> but that feels weird. I love those suits. For all three minutes we get to see them. I know. <laughs> I know. Those suits were so beautiful and they were hardly in the movie and I was so mad about it. They're so gorgeous. But like, I don't know. Everything Shoto is always okay with me. So I it cosplayed it anyway. And then Dark Clone's gonna do Deku. And we have another friend who we ended up going to the same event dressed in like Bakugo and Todoroki on the same day, not even realizing we were gonna be in those cosplays on the same day together. It was great. I need to get shoes for it. I need to get new shoes for mine. I wore shoes my my shoes, um, and they got holes in it <laughs> the day that I wore them, so I need to get new shoes for it, but they shouldn't be too hard to find. Because they're just, they're just combat boots. I'm not going to add the silver bits onto it, because I don't, I hate making shoes. And I don't care about it enough to make the silver bits on the shoes, to be honest. I don't. <laughs> the silver bits on the shoes are too much for my patience. No, a lot of times they don't update the dates until they have them set in stone, especially with everything being delayed lately. Oh. Well, thank you for letting me know that. I feel a little bit better, but still, I'm a little frustrated. It's coming out next month? Oh. But like, man, see, I wanted to have Kanisan done, or at least kind of done, by the time the game came out. So more people might be interested in me cosplaying this totally random character. Seemingly randomly ca random character, but... I guess that's definitely not gonna happen. <laughs> I'm mad about him having to have black versions of his normal shoes. Yeah, yeah. Todoroki wasn't quite like that, but yeah, no, I feel, I feel that. I'm, yeah. I might make like little foam bits to add on to it, but I don't wanna, like the style of combat boots that I have, I use for a lot of things, for a lot of cosplay. So I might make some foam bits that I can easily remove, but still. Ugh. It's only if I decide to have time. <laughs> Whoops. But yeah, Deku shoes are not necessarily the easiest shoes to source. So I get your frustration on that. I still am amazed on how fast this process is going. Usually this takes me eight hours not let's see how long have i been live my phone won't tell me not i know i have not been live for eight hours because <laughs> usually it takes me eight hours to like get everything together cut out and then pinned and then cut out from that it's not i don't have anything sewn together yet obviously but still it's going a lot faster which is nice it's considering how slow the quilting process has been <laughs> It's been so incredibly slow, and I'm so incredibly mad about it. <laughs> Alright, this is all straight lines, so I'm going to see if I can use this without mucking it up. But, you know, anybody's guess on that one. Whee! But I love my hero cosplays. They're great. Are you planning on going to any conventions, Evie? Because I know you weren't planning on going to COAF, but you still ended up going to COAF. <laughs> but are there any ones that you're actually planning on going to? My shoes for him were expensive, and I don't want to pay the amount of shoes for this one costume. Yeah, I get it. I totally get it. Maybe you could find some that are, like, close enough that are black. Cause that's kind of where I'm at. I'm like, it's gonna be close enough <laughs> for the for the one costume. Cause yeah, I still need to get better shoes for my hero Shoto. Cause the ones that I have are the ones that I painted years ago that aren't exactly in the best condition anymore, and they don't really fit all that well anymore either. It's like I probably should get some proper boots on that one, but it's like. Ugh. But 
I am planning on remaking Shoto's hero suit this year correctly <laughs> and not trying to do it off of that base because that base was like freaking pajamas and I hated it. So I'm actually just going to build it from scratch and just take apart that one that I have as a base and then muck it all up and redo it. Which is how I feel like I do a lot of things these days. <laughs> Muck it up and redo it. <laughs> Nothing in mind, but like NDK is always fun. And it's been so long. Either our daughter, either, either daughter or Jinx can convince me. Yes. Well, let me try and convince you. I'm planning on going to NDK. Hello. I'm planning on going to NDK and I'm planning on having a lot of fun. I'm planning on entering the cosplay contest again for that con. So you should definitely come. Yes. I'm not. Yeah. Yeah. One night. Yeah, when you book the room, you have to pay for one night. Are you going to Fan Expo? <laughs> Till they're full? Whee! Oh, I thought I was all free and clear. There we go. I'm planning on being a gay mess at it. Heck yeah! You're always a gay mess, though. I don't know. I don't know what's changing on that. <laughs> um, I am planning on making Ito from Genshin for the cosplay contest at this point. Um, I think Korra, ooh, Fan Expo. Well, f so there's Salt Lake Fan Expo or there's the Denver Fan Expo. So that's two, just two, two different ones. I'm not gonna be at Fan Expo, but I will be at Denver Fan Expo. Which, honestly, I have not decided on whether or not I'm going to be streaming progress of my build for that con yet. I haven't decided yet. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure if it's one that I feel comfortable streaming because it's such a, it's a wildly different cosplay from what I normally do. And I don't know how, uh... How well it's gonna go. <laughs> I feel like there's some parts that I could potentially try and stream, but there's a lot of it that I feel like I am going to be uh, very new to and very much learning as I go. And I don't necessarily know how great that's gonna be for a stream if I am just staring at something like, what do you mean? <laughs> it's. Sh She's a, she's a, gonna be a weird project, but I'm excited for her. I just don't know if I'm gonna be able to stream her yet. Because of the hecticness that is involved with making that cosplay. But, Cat for Kids is also gonna be there at Fan Expo, and I'm super excited for that, because Fan Expo is giving us a lot of space this year. So I'm pretty hyped about that. I'll probably just be volunteering on uh, Friday and Sunday this year, just because I'm trying to enter the cosplay contest. But if I don't get in, then I'll be doing that all three days again. But it's going to be weird. Uh, every every time I've gone to the Denver Con for the past, well, since 2018, I should say, because I was going to say for the past four years, but like we missed a few years there. <laughs> um, uh, I've always been at the, the Cat for Kids booth every single day, so it's it, it will be weird if I don't do that again. But if I'm in the contest, I don't really know if I'm going to have time to do the booth on Saturday. But I will probably at least stand there and look pretty. So Denver Fan Expo is iffy, but hopefully they get rid of What's-Her-Face. Yeah, Gina Carano. <sighs> God, I hate it. <laughs> yeah I don't really know how much I want to talk about hopefully yeah I don't really want to know how much I want to talk about it on stream um because honestly I'm a little traumatized from that whole situation <laughs> but <laughs> um in 
short, I feel like she is not going to be removed from the convention because she is signed for a lot of Fan Expo events, not just Denver. So Denver, the people who are running Denver may not have any control over that situation at all. Even though Pop Culture Con is not, or Pop Culture Classroom now, is uh, not okay with her being there. But she signed on for at least two other Fan Expo events, including Chicago. So I'm finding it very unlikely that she will be removed because she's more than likely under a big contract since she's signed for multiple events or announced for multiple events. So I am trying to keep in mind that they are generously donating a lot of space and resources to cap for kids um, and Denver Fan Expo is at least taking care of the charity and I am going to be making sure that I am going to be very loud and proud that particular weekend um, I will be making custom pronoun pins to go with each of my cosplays for that weekend um, as a very, very much big, big fuck you to Gina and her fan base. <laughs> uh, yeah, I get it. Either that or she cancels like guests often do anyway. Yeah. Uh, wouldn't it be such beautiful luck if she canceled? <laughs> but yeah, just focusing on what you're excited for is what matters. Yeah. I am, I am thankful for Fan Expo and they, their, uh, their treatment of, uh, moving forward for cat for kids and even cosplayers they've been doing a lot better about treating cosplayers better they let me in with the wolf's gravestone last year without a hitch uh, the Colorado Academy of Cosplay has a lot of panels and workshops planned in terms of cosplay they are really excited about cosplay guests who are crafters and make their own things and they don't care about numbers when it comes to cosplay guests. They care about your crafting, your craftsmanship, and I think that's really special. So, like, there's there's some good things that I've been enjoying about Fan Expo so far taking over, but uh, Gina Carano is, um... <laughs> yeah, her fans are really awful. Um, I am thankful that there will be two booths that I can hang out during the event. Uh, my friend Stephanie, who runs... Um, Lost Star Imaging is one of the official cosplay photographers of the event, and she has her own booth, and she has already stated to me that hers is going to be a safe space if uh, Gina fans get a little out of control. Um, and then uh, I will also have the Cat Forgets booth that is always a safe place. <laughs> but yeah, I am a... Uh... Yeah. <laughs> I think Gina's fans scare me more than Gina herself. I'm not going to lie. The crowd that she, she brings is, um, <laughs> fucking awful. <laughs> uh, to say the least. Not to, like, mince words or anything. <laughs> I just realized, did I ever put my, uh, my pronouns back my twitch bio not my twitch my uh, twitter bio oh i did not oop it was i was like it's just gonna be for a few days nope it's been a couple weeks now let me fix that real fast <laughs> i just needed to take them out of my twitter bio so people would stop bullying me for like two seconds <laughs> i'm down to be a big big bad person shield if needed yeah. I feel like there's a lot of people who are. But yeah. <laughs> my first thought was like, well, I guess Fan Expo isn't the, the place to be putting pronouns on my portfolio or anything. <laughs> but now I'm I'm definitely going to be doing it a little bit out of spite. But also if the judges in the in the cosplay contest don't respect my pronouns, it's not a cosplay contest that I ever feel like I should ever go back to. Like, in all actuality. I feel like at this point, I'm just going to put my pronouns in all of my, porf on all of my portfolios. Um, and it will be a good uh, indicator on whether or not I should ever return to that competition or not. Because I've heard some stories. It's 
some horror stories, but I've also heard some good stories. And if I can keep, if I can prevent doing the horror stories again, I will. And also, I just don't want to be accidentally misgendered by somebody. Um, especially, uh, especially in the costume that I'm doing uh, for Fan Expo, it's a very feminine build, and that's that one's uh, wearing feminine costumes is always worse. So pronouns, pronouns are important, very important. Come on. But yeah, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Uh, excuse me. Did my music stop again? I feel like my music stopped again. I need to get my, uh, my drink. I got a lidded drink just for crafting. And then didn't even bring it over here. How rude of me. Oh my God, it's four o'clock. What is this? Yeah, I haven't even been streaming for three hours. So this is already going so much faster. Considering I just need to cut this piece out and then I need to start pinning and sewing. Whee! Hello, how are you? Average for Disliker, how are you? How have you been? We are just crafting you today, but I hope you're having a good day. Ah, everything is fine. All right. Like this is helpful as long as I stop cutting the paper, <laughs> but I keep cutting the paper. <laughs> everything is fine. We're not cutting? Okay, that actually did cut. I thought it wasn't cutting. It didn't feel like it was cutting. It was just gliding so... Good, good. Customer broke my nose, but I'm good. No, I'm so sorry. What happened? That sounds terrible. Oh my god. Was like in an accident? Was it on purpose? Like, oh my god, please. Story time is necessary here. Holy crap. That did not cut at all. Wait, there we go. I didn't cut the paper once on that. That's great. I feel like I'm just cutting the paper constantly on this thing and that kind of sucks. But you know, whatever. I feel like having this cutting mat instead of manually cutting everything has been one of the bigger pluses of this. Ouch. Try to explain why you don't like or why you don't grease your brakes tried to explain why you don't grease your brakes and then he picked my wrench and whacked me in the face can you press charges <laughs> can you what the odd yeah, oh my god. That sounds horrible. Oh my god. I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's miserable. Please tell me you can press charges here and are pressing charges. Holy crap. That's so bad. Oh, I've had some bad customer stories, but I have never been physically assaulted by one to the point of them whacking me in the face with a wrench or anything of the sort oh my goodness gracious oh my god that's a that's a bad that's a bad day <laughs> i'm not even gonna argue like you win the bad days here holy crap oh my god <laughs> wow the, auda the audacity the audacity what <laughs> what? <laughs> Why are people like this? Uh, 
Why? Alright. I think that's all of my pieces. I think these are all of my pieces. So I'm gonna grab this. Oh, no. These guys. And then we're gonna move back to the desk. For uh, assembly. And by assembly, I mean like lots of pinning and shit. <laughs> wow, that's insane. I'm so sorry. All right, uh, let's come back. Hello, you get a tour of the room. Hope y'all enjoyed that. <laughs> Bit of a change of subject. I've been planning a cosplay. <gasps> Woo, what cosplay are you planning? That's so exciting. I, as you can tell, love cosplaying. Cosplaying is uh, my life. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm working on you. Uh, he's like my favorite Demon Slayer character. But I make a lot of stuff. I've been doing a lot of Genshin cosplays lately, but I do a lot of anime and video games mostly these days. Um, but are you planning on like buying your cosplay, altering your cosplay, making your cosplay from scratch? I am super excited to hear all about it. Okay, I'm gonna put this to the side. It's empty now. All right. So back, so this is the back. This is also the back. So I need to grab one of the front pieces so I can make a pantalones, a single pant leg. Kind of my own. I've got the idea of a World War II who's been transported to Skyrim. Ooh, that'll be interesting. Are like um, are you planning it more uh, World War II style, more Skyrim style? Um, is it like an original character idea, or is it just like um, kind of your own brainchild? But I love that. That'll be super interesting to see it when it's all done. You are going to the side, my friend. I will probably need you later. <laughs> Alright. That's the front. That's the back. Kind of my own. Okay. Sorry. I already read that message. I thought it was a new message. Um. Why does this feel like it doesn't quite line up? <laughs> hmm. All right. Okay. Hopefully this works. This is why mock-ups are important, kids. <laughs> I only have a small understanding of what I'm doing most of the time. But I feel like, oh right, that's why my brain is 404-ing, is because we've got a little section on this pattern that is, there's no, there's nothing there. Because there's, so there's a little piece on this uh, pattern. So it's got like little cutouts on the side of the pants. I don't know how well you can see. I turn up my brightness pretty, pretty a lot. But it's got a little cutout on the side of the pants. And that's kind of why I think I'm like, why does this not make sense as a pants pattern? <laughs> There's a cutout. 
pretty much like a military uniform with a Nordic theme armor and a fur poncho with a metal plated gas mask. Ooh, that'll be interesting. That'll be very, very interesting. Well, I hope that it works out great. What are you planning on making everything out of? Are you planning on sourcing pre-made stuff and just altering it? Are you planning on making it all from scratch? If you're making it from scratch, what kind of materials are you looking to make it out of? Let's see if my brain stops pouring here for like two seconds. <laughs> we'll see if I can do this. I wonder if I just match up the whole seam. it'll still be okay let's try it uh, I have to do a Skyrim I do have a Skyrim OC but it would be very hard to do but I'm planning to get the uniform and use foam for the mask and armor heck yeah making stuff out of foam is so rewarding I am not the best foam maker in the world but my partner is really good at making foam stuff um, and I am in awe absolute awe of of what he does with foam um i can 3d print things <laughs> and i can sew things and that's kind of where i'm at but like when i've made stuff out of foam it's so rewarding when you actually like get it done and it looks and it looks how you want it to look and it got it assembled foam is so rewarding like that i love that i hope it works out beautifully for you I left my soda back there. <laughs> uh, my OC is a non-human character, so I'd have to be covered head to toe in armor. Mm, I get you. I get you. OCs can be so fun, but when they're non-human, it can be a bit of a pain in the butt sometimes. I am going to go get my soda. Because I left it on the other side of the room. Because I have no sense of forethought, apparently. <laughs> Everything is fine. I don't want to step on this pattern, but it keeps getting into my trash pile. He's a frost lich who is that old he developed dementia. Oh, that's so interesting. That's a really That's a really cool base for for an OC. I like it. I I'm going to be real with you. I have never played Skyrim. Uh, I've always been told that I should, should, but, uh, it's never been one that has made it to the list of me actually playing. I feel like there's too many games to play and never enough time to play them all, especially when you do things like cosplay at the same time. <laughs> and, yeah. And then I have that constant, oh, I have no time for anything. Okay, I'm going to sew this piece together and see where I'm at. And by sew, I mean, like, basting it together. But I'm going to put this together and see if it actually fits around my leg with it sewn up along that seam. Or if I need to add more fabric. And then also the other leg. I'm only going to adjust the pattern on the one side of the leg. I just need to have the other side of the leg so it'll stay up. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only reason why I cut out both both sides of the pants. I need to pull my sewing machine back up here. And we need to see if my sewing machine actually works since I oiled it. Took it apart and oiled it, and I don't know how well it works yet. <laughs> it seems to be working okay, but I it's it's I don't know for sure. <laughs> Where's my cord? I'm gonna put, we're just gonna go on the floor for now. Okay. Mm, every, 
everything is trash. Okay. Is this my cord? All the way over there? Yup. How did it end up all the way over there? It's fine. Everything's fine. Grow the whole backstory from? Heck yeah! Have you considered making a D&D &D character of him? Or do you not play D&D? &D? I stopped playing after I had a dragon attack a village while I robbed everyone in the village. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh no! Rip the village, I guess. gonna adjust where this is at and how this sits whoop, whoop. I'm also gonna turn this you know what even better I could just turn on chat through my phone so I don't have to keep turning my head all the way during this process whoop whoop I just realized, did my closed captions not start properly? Oh, it didn't. I turned them on, but it doesn't look like it went all the way on, and that's disappointing. I, it looks like I need to reconnect to Twitch. I get to go pick up pizza for lunch. Ooh, what pizza? What pizza are you getting? I love pizza. I had pizza this week. And there we go. It looks like my captions are working now. My wife said the magic words. <laughs> uh, yeah, I love, I love pizza. Ah, Domino's, heck yeah. Nice meeting y'all. Uh, I got to go and fix my nose. Yes, please go fix your nose. That is a, a pressing issue, I would say. Um... I hope you get a press charges or something. That's awful. But it was lovely to meet you too. Uh, I hope to catch you next time. Have an awesome rest of your day. Bye. Good luck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm in the boat of good luck. <laughs> All right. Let's see if this works out. I'm going to. Okay. All that looks to be correct. Let's see if I can actually sew with this thing. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how well this works out. Oh my god. I'm Alright. Mm. Mm. That would be helpful if my string was not cut. Okay. Oh my god. Everything is cut. Okay. Let's try this again. <laughs> I was like, oh no, we're already off to a bad start. Turns out my thread was just caught in my um, case. Hmm, <laughs> everything is fine. Everything is fine. I like these style of pants because it's a lot of straight lines. And that's enjoyable for me. A lot of straight lines. And also, I love basting stitches because it takes so very little time to get through a whole row. Oh my god, it's so nice. Like, oh my god, it's so fast! Alright, this one shouldn't... This, this, this is the inner seam, so this should not change at all it's just this outer seam that i'm concerned with so we'll see if i actually have reason for concern but we'll see we'll see we'll see i don't know what's happening mm. I feel like I have to go a little further in on this stitch than I would like, because it's a, it's a little, I cut it a little uneven. <laughs> it's not straight. Go figure. <laughs> go figure, it's not straight. <laughs> My table's bouncy. My table's getting very bouncy with that. 
Let's go slower. So it doesn't flump. <laughs> Honestly, with this new new desk area, I have not gone full speed and now I have realized I cannot go full speed on this because it uh does not like that. It's a little it's a little not stable in the center <laughs> to go full speed. <laughs> I guess is fine. <laughs> Whee! Yeah, I did not cut that straight at all. Whoopsie! All right. Let's see if this pantalone leg fits. Turn her inside out. tell which is the front and which is the back that would be nice that would be ideal all right okay okay yeah I feel like it fits it's actually a little looser than I was anticipating, which is nice. I don't know how well you can see it. It's a little looser than I was anticipating, but I think it works out. I think I can just sew it up as normal and then readjust the sizing in the waist, in the hips, and in the leg. Because I know we're gonna need to gather at the bottom here, but I'm not going to work on getting the, bat the bottom readjusted until I get the whole base pant sewed up. BRB again. See you in a bit. I hope you have fun getting pizza. Gotta love them pizza. Pizza's great. All right. We're gonna sew up the other side now. Luckily, honestly, I don't know if I did anything wrong, but it's, I don't have to readjust this this part where it's supposed to be open on the side yet honestly I don't think I'm gonna need to I'm glad I want to size up I guess <laughs> so I don't have to deal with that I just have to take things in elsewhere I don't have to add in panels and then readjust those panels and then pattern out those panels <laughs> that will that's it's very nice that I don't have to do that <laughs> all right Oh, how has everyone's day been going so far? Has it been a good day for everybody? I honestly feel like I'm gonna be working on this for a little bit today. <laughs> Cause like, I'm not ready to stop yet. I'm like, I've got, I've got too much I wanna do right now. And also too little time I feel, but I also always feel like I have too little time to get stuff done. I could have three months and I'll be like, not enough time. <laughs> But I needed, I needed a push to get this done. Cause I was always good. I'm, I w I'm always going to be scared of this project, but having a nice little push to get it done is I think what I needed. Hello. Oh, hello. Welcome back. How's your shoe? My car door chose violence. Your car doors chose violence. Oh my god! Thank god Carter has a bandage in my car because I'm stealing them. Part for the course, oh jeez. My friends look great. We were the only two there besides the school. Beautiful. Okay. You got a lot of mail? Beautiful. Uh, Ashley's car door slammed on their finger um, and they were bleeding in cosplay. Um, so I feel kind of bad about that. <laughs> so much sadness on that end. 
Why do I have a notification? What? Twitch is like, please look at this notification right now. And I'm like, why? I was... <laughs> Gifted a sub to someone I don't know. Okay, thank you, Twitch. It's so important in the middle of me streaming. <laughs> ripping, rip indeed. No, it's not. I'm very upset with their car door right now. <laughs> Your car door! <laughs> No. Oh my god. This is Oh my god. <laughs> I hope it's I just hope it's not broken. I mean, I can move it and like it's not in pain. This is a mail Okay. At least there's that. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Well, that's good. <laughs> can you also edit out the blue bandit? <laughs> hilarious and sad all at the same time but at least so Ashley got to get photos um, in Boulder at Wonder Wonder with their um, um, all out Ari that looks freaking gorgeous they made it and it's I simp over their work so often and that one was a really good example <laughs> It's gorgeous. It's so gorgeous. <laughs> but then again, we all know how much I love KDA. Um, it's like my whole gaming setup or something is KDA. <laughs> Not me who sent sober fictional girl bands. Nope. Couldn't be me. <laughs> Not me at all. I'm just pinning right now. I know it's so interesting. You love KDA? No. <laughs> uh, nope. Not at all. I need to do more Akali cosplays, but I'm just... Self-confidence, man. <laughs> Always that. But I want to make um, a Kali's all-out cosplay really bad. And I have like a half-finished Prestige and a half-finished Pop Stars one that I've just never finished because I'm always just like, I'm not going to look good in this. I actually have part of Prestige hanging up on that rack back there with all of my um fabric from Q. <laughs> But yeah, it's like, I don't know. I don't know, man. Yeah, guys, you can move these. What? Oh. <laughs> Beautiful. But yeah. I need to do more KDA. Because I've done Seraphine and Kaisa, and then I did True Damage at Kali. But I need to do more. I still haven't done any of the Pop Stars ones, despite the fact that I've been obsessed since Pop Stars. And, um. I really want to do a Blacklight shoot at some point, but I just need to not be a wuss and suck it up and be okay with cosplaying characters that expose all of my midriff. <laughs> I just need to suck it up, man. <laughs> Always! I love Katie. It's so much fun. There's it's such good designs. The music is great. It's fun. It's, it's just everything. It's life, man. It's life. It brings me so much joy. And, like, I have 
I have the majority of the fabric that I need for all out Akali. I've just never actually made anything. I have patterns for ow, everything that I need <laughs> for all out Akali. I've had a wig bases sitting in my closet for every single Akali skin, Akali music skin for since 2020. <laughs> Uh, yep. Although I do need to re get new stuff for Prestige because I kind of mucked up my first try of Prestige pretty badly. But I think I just need to buy new wefts. I think the, the ponytail base is still fine. I think I just need to get new wefts. I feel like a lot of new wefts. Because <laughs> I used two packs of the long wefts and I messed every single one up. <laughs> That's like another $40 of lefts. Yay! Everything's fine. <laughs> go slower. You don't need to go fast. I'm so sorry because my camera is bouncing. <laughs> I just keep being like, I'm just going in a straight line. I can just zoom. And then my table starts, you know, buckling in the middle and bouncing pretty bad. I'm like, oh yeah, my camera's attached to my table. I can't really do that. <laughs> Both of my cameras are attached to my table. <laughs> Everything is fine. Cause like I have this one on a tripod up here. And then this one's on like a little swivel mount. So I'm sorry if both of the cameras start getting really wobbly. I just, I'm getting too excited, I guess. <laughs> Wobble baby wobble. <laughs> oh my god, I feel like I haven't heard that in a while. Ah, oh, come on. There we go. Well, so far... My machine's doing fine, which is great. Cause like I took everything apart to oiler and I was like, maybe, hopefully it's fine. Hopefully I didn't forget to put anything back on. And she's running okay, so I think I'm fine. <laughs> Wee. My ear is itchy. It's fine. Everything's fine. Sir. Sorry. My headphones. The the dial on them doesn't work all that well. Which kind of sucks. <laughs> the, vol the volume dial? Yeah. Excuse me. Alright, let's see if I sewed this inside out. Because if I did sew this backwards or the wrong way, I'm honestly not going to care enough because it's just the mock-up, but it still always makes me sad. <laughs> Okay, so this is the booty. Which side is the booty? Is this the booty side? Let's see if I did this right. Because, like, I'm under the full belief that you didn't sew anything if you didn't have to redo at least one thing. I tend to have to repin sleeves on at least two or three times before I get it the correct <laughs> direction. I think I got this right. I'm pretty sure I got this right. <sighs> Alright. Aesthetic, hi! Already, y'all, it's lunchtime, so I'ma go. Maybe I'll be back depending upon how long you're on. Have fun with lunch. Enjoy your pizza, Evie. The pan heart is really cute. 
Wait, is that a pan heart? <gasps> it is a pan heart. Oh my god. I love it. <laughs> it looked like a rainbow from where I'm sitting. Oh, yeah, it just looked like a rainbow from where I'm sitting. But it says pan, and now that I like put my face up to my screen, I can see that it's pan. <laughs> Uh, not that one, but there are gay ones. Hold on, let me see if I can. Yeah, so they've got all of those, and they've got a bunch of different ones, like different flags of the 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 hearts, the hands and hearts. You know. <laughs> If I were to do a gay emote, what character would it be, y'all? Because I've thought about it, but I feel like there's too many... There's too many gay characters that I cosplay, and... I feel like I already have emotes for a lot of them. <laughs> but if I were to have a gay emote, what character would it be, y'all? <laughs> every time I ask what emote, you just like Kani san. Every, si every single time! <laughs> uh, did I actually get it backwards? Did I? Hold on. See if I can pin this and see. Yang, I, have, I already have a Yang lols. It's a, it's the follower emote. I don't know. You can use it. <laughs> you can. When you're in my channel, you can use it. I can look at that. <laughs> you can. <laughs> Yes, you can use Beatbox Edo. That one's a temp one, but you can use him. Um, <laughs> everyone starts using the emotes that they can use. Did you guys not know that there are follower emotes? Because I feel like I talked about this before. <laughs> Well, I'm less I am less uh, confused with you than I am with them. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think. Like, I feel like there's so many gay characters. I feel I feel like Shoto is ace, but it's you write on it. It's not exactly canon, but they also don't really conf confirm any of like Which is fine. anything. Right. Yeah. Hmm. Let me think. Uranus might be one. I don't know. I don't know though. Uranus might be though. It might be. It might be the one, but I don't know. Yeah. Shoot. Mhm. Mm She's definitely one of the more overtly gay ones out of all of the characters cuz I do a lot of them that are just like not necessary. Beidou is definitely one. Beidou Ningong would be cute. <laughs> but Beidou and Ningguang aren't necessarily confirmed either, but they are also, like, I guess the most hinted at. But they don't really confirm anybody to be in a relationship in Genshin, like, at all, period. Hmm. 
Mm -hmm. What if, would you guys think about a a gay Uranus emote? Is that something y'all would be interested in? Cause like I've got plenty of emote slots left, but I don't have any gay ones right now. Cause I feel like I've been trying to get through a lot of the basic ones that we've been wanting. Sure. Okay. <laughs> sure. <laughs> um. I'm trying to think. If there's anybody else. Because we could potentially even do an animated emote for the gay ones. But those would take. Though Connie Sam would be great too. <laughs> I mean, yes, but I don't know how many people are going to be using a Connie Sun emote, to be completely fair. Nobody knows what Token Rambu is. <laughs> <Star Clone. laughs> like, while well, I agree, it would be cute. <laughs> Nobody knows what Token Rambu is. <laughs> I feel like Sailor Uranus has a little bit more uh, recognition. Per se. <laughs> Did I sew this on right? Possibly. <laughs> Undetermined. <laughs> that was so long ago. <laughs> I'm trying to think. Definitely not confirmed. Um, and I th I don't know how much Star Wars I want to do as an emote. We have decided that we want to do a follower emote that is um, hello, that's Obi Wan Kenobi, or hello there. <laughs> oh man. Ah, <laughs> oh. Uranus might be the one because she is the most like overtly gay character that I think I've cosplayed in a while that I don't already have an emote of. Mm -hmm. So, it might, we might do her. But maybe we could... Hello there. <gasps> did it go off? <gasps> I did not hear that sound alert go off. No! Sound... Give me my sound alerts. My computer's being so frickin' slow. Give me my sound alerts. Why didn't you do that? Bro. I'm mad at my Twitch right now. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> See, yes, Harley Quinn would though. God, that stuff's from like a lifetime ago. Yeah. Oh, that's true. But I have, I only cosplayed Batwoman the one time. <laughs> I definitely want to go back and do her again sometime and do the not bombshell version but I love the bat family but Nightwing is more of a priority than um Batwoman yes all of it all of it all of it sorry I'm trying to pull up my computer is being really slow and I'm trying to pull up my sound alerts so I can try and um do this again, but uh, it's taking a second, and I am sorry. Uh, no, I kind of. Nah. I like Ivy more than I like Harley, but I haven't cosplayed Ivy. Yeah, like the ones I started with. Mm hmm. That's it, though. I need to 
do more nearness. I mean, do you want to do the house of your crew? I do, but I need to see if I'm going to have time to do it for NDK this year. That's my biggest concern, is the time factor. I think the cards are still a little bit out for me to do. Mm hmm I also just need to do her regular out I have never done a normal sailor outfit. <laughs> Not once! I don't understand why. Okay, let's see if I can get this to do it again. Let's do regular sailor <laughs> Yes, I'd be down for that. Okay, I heard it that time. Did you guys hear it that time? It was really quiet, but I think I heard it that time. But yeah, I need to do more of Sailor Uranus. No. No, dang it. Pause my music. Let's try it again. Ah, oh, it is so freaking quiet. Sure. How to fix that? I don't even know if the notifications are popping up. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna crank my, my desktop volume all the way up. And let's see if we could do it this way. It's it might be ridiculously loud. I don't know. Hopefully this works though. Hello there. Did you hear it that time? <laughs> Hello there. Yes. Hello, Mr. Peabody. How are you? I'm glad we got it to work out. I'm going to turn my volume back down so we're not blasting music too loud. But how are you doing? Are you having a good day so far? There we go. All right. We're going to we're just going to roll off that. Oh my god, that's so loud on my end. Okay. All right, let's go back to doing this. Whee! But yeah, I need to do more Uranus. I want, I want to do a lot of Uranus, but. <sighs> mm hmm. I still want to do the witch Uranus though. Yes. Which Uranus is going to be freaking awesome. Uh, can next Friday get here sooner? I want to see uh, Captain Britt and uh, Doctor Strange so bad. Yes! Uh, our house is going to go see um, Multiverse of Madness on Thursday. And I'm hyped about it. It's going to be great. Doctor Strange. I don't. I don't know. How much you guys know. Of, like my superhero loves. Because I haven't done superheroes. That often for a while. But um. Doctor Strange was my favorite superhero. When I was in high school. And still remains to this day. One of my favorite superheroes. Doctor Strange was also. The first cosplay I ever made solely by myself. Like I made, I made everything, and uh, it was the, it was the first one that I ever did. And so that costume has a lot of uh, sentimental value for me in in so so many ways. 
uh outer ground outer scout group would be great too yes i love the outer scouts they don't have as much love as the inners like like by a long shot <laughs> i can never find stuff for for the outers but i can always find stuff for the inners i love venus too don't get me wrong hype yes outer scout group yes but yeah, I need to do I need to do more Uranus. But I would be down if if everybody's interested in having a, a a gay emote for Uranus, I would definitely talk to Moth Muse about it and see what we could come up with and, and get done. But I definitely feel like we do need some sort of gay emote. I just feel like we hadn't gotten there yet because we're trying to get through so many other ideas now that we have all these open slots to fill. I know. I love, I love all the gay stuff. And Pride is coming up soon too. It feels like it's a long time away, but it's really only like a month away at this point. <laughs> right? You need to finish your glaive for Saturn? Oh heck yes. Yes, yes, absolutely. I wanna make Uranus's sword at some point because we all know me and swords, but <laughs> I want to make her sword at some point. I just have not gotten there at all. I barely had her Christmas look together for November. <laughs> I think that was our first crafting stream down here, actually, was when I, uh, Dark Clone and I were working on our uh, Christmas sailors together. All right. Let's see if the pants fit. <laughs> now is the moment of truth on how much I have to redo of these pants. Okay, so we've got a bit that I need to take out of the um we should do the eternal look since the cosmos is coming out next year. I don't know if I know what eternal Uranus looks like. <laughs> the current one is about as tall as me and I need it to be taller than me. Yes. Bro, do you need me to print you one? Cause you know I can't. <laughs> It's not like we made a pole arm that was taller than you last year or anything. So if you need me to print you a new glaive, we can work on that. I'd be down to help you with that. Okay, so I need to take out a little bit of the waistband, but I don't think too much of the waistband. And then it's a little, it's a little bunchy. But I don't know how much of that is just the fabric sticking or what. So honestly, it's not bad. It's fitting in my hips pretty good. It's just the waist that's a little wonky. You do have the files for one? Bro, let's get this bread. Let's do it. Let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. Okay. So yeah, it's a little bunchy so I might see about taking out a little bit of extra of this curve here okay I'm gonna put these on inside out so I can pin this a little easier What is front? What is back? I think that's the back. Okay. With how finicky your 3D printer has been, you may want to make sure your current projects are help with helping with those. Well, pff, pff, I'm not saying right now. I know my printer's been finicky. But I'm not saying right now I'm going to print it. But yeah, I want to help do it. Let's do it. 
Okay. Why does that feel so far? Do I put this on backwards? I feel like I put it on backwards. Everything's fine. Okay, that's where the seams are supposed to sit. Yay! Okay. Alright. I must sit down in this and see how this goes. Okay. So I'm just going to take a little bit of the curve out of this seam, but otherwise I'm going to be fine. Also, welcome back, Superdemix. Welcome back to the stream. <laughs> What have you been working on today? Cause yeah, there's a pretty big curve here. So it's fine. But I just wanna take a little bit of it out cause I don't need that much of a curve in the seam. I'm definitely gonna see about sewing a waistband on and then seeing how much I need to take out of the waistband if anything because there's a possibility that I don't need to take anything out of the waistband if the waistband um, fits nicely on it but I will know once I get it on okay I'm gonna sew this real fast and then I will work on the waistband. Whee! that I've got that, where is I put on the waistband? Speaking of, I should probably should go check my 3D printer here soon, but... I'm gonna wait for a proper break to do that, because I had something on the printer, and it was printing fine, but that doesn't mean it continued printing fine. <laughs> so we'll see. I'm hoping... That I just have a bad roll of filament, and that's all that's going on with my printer on why it keeps jamming. But until I get through this roll, I'm not gonna know, and I still have quite a bit of this roll left. And I don't. I hate wasting filament because it was rolled incorrectly. I hate it. But I guess it happens. I didn't read it right. There is indeed a cut on fold here that I did not see. So I'm just gonna sew them together. It'll be fine. <laughs> but I did not see the cut on fold. It's fine. It's not the end of the world. I'm just a little sad. <laughs> I don't have to press anything, hallelujah. Honestly, I hate pressing shenanigans. 
pressing is one of the most important, but one of my least favorite things to do. It's so tedious, but so worth it. But I don't have to worry about it for a mock-up. Nope, nope. And that's nice. All right. I'm not, I'm not sure why this is doing this, but it's fine. Whee! I feel like this waistband is pretty small in comparison to what Ouch. I was expecting. Yeah, it feels pretty small in comparison to what I was expecting it to be. So I need to look at some GU references and see if I need to make this waistband taller. I don't finish that. Okay. Let's look at some, excuse me, references. GU. GU. This belt is much, much thicker than that, but it might just be the belt. I don't necessarily need the waistband to be that quite that thick. Well, I might, because I am, I am adding belt loops for my own sanity. I'm adding belt loops even though he doesn't exactly have belt loops, per se. Hmm. I don't have the belt. Because I haven't bought the belt yet. The belt and the shoes are like the two pieces that I'm just gonna buy like outright and not make them. But I don't have the belt. And I'm looking at this, and this just looks really thin because you have to keep in mind there's the seam allowance of what's going into the actual pants. So we're looking at like that much, and that seems really thin. So I might just sew this up to see about the length, but when I do a second mock up, I'm probably going to make a thicker waistband. But I do want to see about the length and see if that works. But, uh, yeah, because I might need to just get the belt and then base the waistband measurement off of that so my belt loops don't get messed up. Because while I can't find belt loops on, like, normal belt loops that attach from his pants to the belt per se, I feel like it's going to be the best way for me to keep everything attached. So I'm just going to be taking some of the white linen that I have and making belt loops off of that so it's less obvious with the belt, but still holding everything up. Because <laughs> I can find loops on the belt, but I can't find loops from the um, pants to the belt and the references. But references are a little weird sometimes with anime because they can vary on design a lot of the time like you is a pretty good example on some varying references because his pa the pattern on his Hayori varies <laughs> sometimes from frame to frame on uh what the actual like a uh, pattern setup is 
Because sometimes it's the normal tumbling blocks pattern, and sometimes you it's not. <laughs> sometimes it's not. Um, but I'm going with the normal one because I think it looks better overall. But yeah, the references are a little mucky sometimes, I have found. So, that's why they should all have art books. Agreed. Agreed. Art books are so helpful for cosplayers. But I feel like there's a lot of... Um, games or animes that don't really necessarily put cosplayers as a focus of their fandom despite the fact that cosplayers basically give them free press. I probably would not have gotten into Demon Slayer, Slayer if it was not for cosplayers. So cosplayers are a pretty a pretty important part for for a lot of these uh, animes and video games but they don't make it a priority to make art books. But I agree, they should all have art books. <laughs> it would make life so much, so much easier on everybody involved. Tis the last. Like, why? I wonder if I just... Not me looking at my huge stack of Token Rambu art books. Yes. I just have the one that you gave me, but like, they're nice. They're so nice. They break down the costumes really nicely and make it super easy to understand what each piece is supposed to look like and be and the details that each of those pieces have. Because there's a lot of the time, especially with the Genshin ones, I kind of just have to make up what, like, how I think everything fits together. Because there's not a good, clear, and concise way of being like, okay, so this is how this fits together, or this is how this sits. You just kind of have to make it up. Kazuha was a really good example of making things up. Because I was like, I actually don't know how this part is supposed to attach, but I am going to make it up on how I feel like it kind of looks more or less. <laughs> Here's what would make some semblance of sense or be easier on me. Is this how it's actually supposed to touch? I have no idea. <laughs> None at all. No clue. I'm just making everything up as I go along. And I feel like that's how it is with a lot of it's, it's particularly detailed designs. You just kind of have to figure it out. And that is so amazing about cosplayers. It's one of my favorite things about seeing a lot of cosplay builds is figuring out how to transform something very two-dimensional, very much not meant for the real world, and making it work in the real world. Because um, there are some pieces that just don't work in real life, and uh, people figure out ways to make it work in real life, and I think that is super freaking neat, man. I love that. I see that with a lot of, like like I said, Genshin and Lee cosplays, like things that don't, don't make any real world sense or should not work. They, they make it work somehow. And it's beautiful. I love it. Cosplay is such a cool, cool art form. And I think that's one of the main reasons why I like it. Is the imagination of people. And the creativity of people. It's about time for them to release a fourth art book. Holy crap, that's so many art books. What would the fourth be? fourth one be? Would it just be more swords? Would it be like the musicals? Would it be something else? how this works out. I'm not sure how this is going to work. I'm going to have to make this up. So this pattern has like these uh, these triangle shapes. So I'm going to be attempting to get rid of the triangular design on the sides here. So we'll make it straight, um, because this is uh, this pattern's supposed to have cutouts. So I'm just kind of making it, everything up as I go along. But uh, it would be for more swords. They have released a few swords and given new outfits to old swords since the last book. Ooh, fancy! So. 
I'm a little nervous to try and sew this together right now because I'm not sure how long or how this is going to fit. So, I'm just going to pin this and leave a little bit extra room there so I can try and sew it together. And then we're just going to kind of go off this idea for a little bit and try and get everything to be even. We'll see how it works though. I'm not sure how it's gonna work. Whee! Okay, let me see if I can lay this flat. So, it like that. I think that works. I'm unsure if that will actually be straight, but we're gonna try it. Eh. I'm not gonna cut anything off until I know that it's working. We'll see how this sits. <sighs> okay. I, I think everyone can agree that my creative process is a lot of fuck around and find out. And I think patterning is the best example of that. Um, because I'm just like, we'll see if this works. I don't know. We'll fix it if it doesn't. <laughs> uh, honestly, I think the last time that I patterned on stream was when I was trying to do Kazuha's like foam pattern for the calf guards, and that was kind of terrible. <laughs> but I feel like this one's going a lot better patterning wise on stream. Maybe I should just not do foam patterns on stream. Let's just, I guess we'll try and start there. Because <laughs> that one was a little, uh, I was not having a good time with that one. I don't know if anyone was having a good time with that one. Whee! All right, I'm gonna lay this down flat again. Try and do that. Okay. Theoretically, this should be fine, but I'm a little nervous as to how it'll sit with taking out that bit of fabric or if I'm not taking out enough fabric on the sides here, but we shall see. We shall see. That feels... Bro, what? I feel like I'm missing something. That is a very large difference. So, the waistband ends here, but I've got all of this left. Okay. <laughs> that seems like a lot, but I'm trying not to question anything because I am altering this. But, like, what? Huh? I don't know what's happening. Alright. Ooh, what's this? What 
is this? An art project? Okay, I like it. Picasso. Okay. Nope. I'm gonna sew this dude together. If I can find my foot pedal, there we go. All right, there's that. Cut off the excess. A lot of excess for no reason. All right, let's sew this beach down. I'm definitely gonna need to readjust this waistband for more than one reason at this point. But everything is fine. I, one thing is for certain, I am not cutting anything out of my nice fabric until I have everything patterned that I need to have patterned for the top and the pants, so that way I can lay everything out properly so I don't have to buy more fabric, because the fabric was not the cheapest thing I've ever bought. So I'm not going to be getting to that today, and I... So I'm sorry if that's what you wanted, but I'm not going to be getting to actually sewing up all of the pants today. But I am hoping that I can finish patterning out the pants. And then maybe we can work on patterning the shirt next time. Or maybe my cricket will be nice and let me just like start doing the thing. But we'll see. We'll see if that works. I'm not putting any eggs in the basket. The, the cricket's going to be nice to be in the next couple days. But hopefully it will. That would be nice. But I am going to try and uh, pattern out some of the stuff tomorrow. But we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. But hopefully I can get through. It's been four hours. Honestly, I've gotten through so much in four hours, though. Usually I'm not this far in four hours. <laughs> Usually... I would still be on the cutting process this much time later, but yeah, I'm not going to be cutting out the good fabric or sewing up the good fabric today. But at least if I could get through this fir first mock-up, that would be nice. At the very minimum. At the very minimum, that would be nice. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Okay. Okay. I was like, I feel like I should be coming up on the final bit of this, but we'll see. Okay. Yeah, that is not going to be enough for the waistband. From what I was gathering from the pictures on the pattern, the waistband was a lot thicker than that. But honestly, I think it's fine. I just... I'm just gonna have to redo the, the waistband measurement, which should be fine. Because 
long as I have the gist of it, right? by lining for this too I totally forgot that that's another reason why I can't do it I don't have lining okay I think I'm gonna do a hand stitched basing stitch at the bottom and try and gather these and see how they look gathered because I don't want to sew in elastic for this yet but I do want to be able to see what it might look like with the elastic whoop, whoop. I think it works. I think it'll be fine with the belt with the waistband because I can get it on without there being elastic in the waistband. But with the belt, it'll help cinch it in a little bit so I don't have to worry about it not super fitting, if that makes any sense. I can find That's surprising uh, to me. Hmm, okay. Is there anything in here that might be helpful? Wait a minute. Hang on. I'm missing a presser foot. Oh, I don't need it right now. I just realized that I'm missing a foot. I don't know where it could be. It's disappointing. Sometimes they get put in here unintentionally. Ow! Or I could just stab myself too. That's that's uh, fine. <laughs> yeah, I'm just stabbing myself is all. No, I can see straight pins.
so maybe I am calling it a day here. I don't. I don't have what I need to try and gather these at the bottom right now. So I'm going to have to make a run to the store. So we're going to call it a day. <laughs> Even though that wasn't my plan, that's what we're going to do, which is fine. Uh, it's not like today was a short stream or anything. As Dark Colon has pointed out, it's been four hours. <laughs> um, but yeah, we will. I will be live again on Wednesday, streaming more Genshin. Yay. Um, I will not be streaming next Saturday, most likely, but I should still be good for Friday. But I think Saturday is a nada next week. But I should be okay for... Wednesday and Friday, so the gaming stream should be fine. Is there anyone in particular that you guys would like to raid? I'm pulling up uh, the my list, but it's taking a second. Let's see. It looks like uh, Winnie the Pooh is live. I enjoy I enjoy raiding her. She's a lot of fun. And she's doing marbles on stream. Does that sound like fun? Or does this, is there anybody else that y'all would like to, uh, excuse me, raid? Let's switch to, you cool with whoever? Okay. Let's go say hi to Winnie then. That'll be fun. But yeah, I will, I'm going to see you guys. On Wednesday, I love you guys. I guys, I hope you guys have a good weekend. Thanks for joining me in the chaos that is uh, gaming, not gaming, crafting. I know what I'm saying. <laughs> I love you guys. Bye. <laughs>